Hello and welcome to a big ass episode of Ask It Grim. Um, <laughs> seriously, you guys rock for sending in your questions, but because of how many questions were asked, I think it was nearly a hundred overall. Um, yeah, if I ever do a three person uh, Q and A again, assuming these two don't blacklist me after this, um. <laughs> Yeah, I'm limiting the amount of questions to three per individual and then three overall for a group question. Speaking of blacklisting, um, we have guests. <laughs> Introduce yourselves. Ladies first. Okay. Hello, everyone. It is your super cute, super comfy Sakura Arctic Box isn't here. Good to see you all again. <laughs> What's up, y'all? It's Emerald Star of Emerald Star Productions. How y'all doing? And were we not, if I were going to blacklist, I would have done it years ago, David. Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So once again, thank you all for asking your questions, as well as thanks for my guests for showing up. So let's get started. Princess Fan Lady asks, for Grimm, any thoughts on Nerd Slayer Pro Studios? Worst World of Warcraft game mechanic and worst episode from Rudy Volume Season 3. I'm assuming you mean Ruby. Uh, Nerd Slayer exists. I have never played World of Warcraft, so I can't really comment on the worst game mechanic. And Ruby Volume 3, least favorite would probably be the episode where Yang fought M uh, Mercury, because that whole thing was a minefield. To Susan, what do you think of the Invincible series and favorite dress? Okay, so I've never heard of the Invincible series, so I can't really give an answer on that. And favorite dress? Hmm. I guess probably... I guess probably um, Ariel's dress from The Little Mermaid. She has like a really pretty, um, like casual dress that she wears in the um, Disneyland uh, uh, Connect game on the Xbox. It's a really pretty dress. And since Ariel's one of my favorite Disney princesses, I think it suits her. So I'd say that. Well, yeah. For Emerald, did you play sports and which powers do you want to have? Okay, so. Yes, I played one sport because it was the only sport I was good at, track and field. I did it from back in middle school and high school. I didn't do it afterwards. Uh, and then as for the power I'd love to have, um, I flip-flop between time travel and super speed. All right. For both Susan and Emerald, did you see Chicago Party Aunt? Any thoughts on Futurama and what do you think of the Invincible series? I feel like you could have all thrown that in for Emerald as well, but anyways... You want to go first? I guess I should. Because uh, I never heard of Chicago Party Ants. I have heard of Hijirama, but I'm indifferent on it. i never really seen any episodes, and I already answered the Invisible Series thing. i never seen it either, so... Okay, as for me, uh, heard of Chicago Party Ant. Never cared for it. Um, I don't think a lot of people like it either, but whatever. Uh, Futurama. Uh, I do like the show. Haven't watched its later seasons, but I like the earlier seasons for the most part. And it's just indifferent. I haven't watched the later seasons. I just have no interest. And that goes for the reboot as well. Or the revival, I should say. As for Invincible, uh, no, I do not care to watch Invincible. Uh, not my thing. Sorry. It looks neat, though. Uh, but I've lost interest in superheroes, so no thank you. All right, and then a group question. Have you heard about YouTube trying to take down ad blockers? What do you think of the Boogie 2988 documentary? Did you see Willie Mac show's video on Asan? Favorite Archer episodes? Any thoughts on Lydia, a.k.a. The Simpsons series? And did you, did you see the teaser for Inside Out 2? Um, I'll go ahead and answer. For all these, I have either no opinion or no idea, so next... All right. So I have heard about YouTube's ad blocking situation and, uh, you know, I fuck them for that. Um, didn't know Boogie was getting a documentary, so I suppose my curious self will look into that later because that sounds whatever. Um, I have no idea who Willie Mac show is. I know who Hassan is. At least I know what I I'm assuming there's only one Hassan we all know you're probably talking about, but whatever. He exists. Um, I've only watched uh, four episodes of Archer, and they were the first four episodes of season one. So, 
I guess one of those four episodes. I haven't watched the show beyond that. I should probably get back to that. Uh, I know the Simpsons theory exists. That is as far as I can say. And yes, I did see the teaser for Inside Out too. I'll admit I was very mixed on a sequel for this movie because Inside Out's one of my favorites. But it looks like the sequel's going to be, you know, just as good as po possibly just as good as the first one. So, I, you know, I really like the teaser. Uh, they nailed anxiety to a T as someone with anxiety. Five, 10 out of 10, Pixar. You win, a, you win this round. And as for me, I've heard of it. Not a big fan. Uh, I've seen bits of the Boogie uh, documentary, and I want to figuratively bleach my eyes after hearing it because Jesus fucking Christ. Uh, no, I did not see the video on Hassan, but that's just because I do not like Hassan Piker, so I'd rather not see anything related to him. Haven't seen Archer. I don't watch The Simpsons, so I've so Lydia slash Simpsons theory exists to me, but I've never seen their content. And no, I did not see the teaser for Inside Out 2 because I've been boycotting Disney for the last month. Omega Surfer Fanboy asks, For Grim, have you seen Pompoco and did you play Robocop Rogue City? Yes, I've seen Pompoco. Not my cup of tea. Not a big fan of it, basically. Um, and I haven't played Robocop Rogue City, but it looks appealing. For Susan, favorite Dragon Ball character, favorite music bands, and unintentionally hilarious anime dub lines. Okay, so I have not watched Dragon Ball, like, a lot. I'm familiar with the series, but I can't really name any uh, characters that I like off the top of my head. As for music bands, I do listen to a lot of artists. But most of them are um, single, like um, single person artists. But in terms of, I guess, band, I would say Hollow Stars, considering they have performed songs together in concerts. So I would say them. And I guess unintentionally hilarious anime dub lines. I guess one I could think of off the top of my head was during War and Host Club when the hosts were trying instant coffee for the first time, and Tamaki has the line of, well, What if I let you drink it from my mouth? And then the, me, the girl's like, well, then I would drink it. <laughs> I don't know. I think that's pretty funny, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> All right. For Emerald, worst mom character, favorite Naruto episode, and least favorite Pixar. I'm assuming they mean movie. Okay. So worst mom character. I'm assuming we're talking about cartoon mothers. Um, okay. I don't have anyone that I specifically dislike so i guess i'll just say lois from family guy if only because well i don't like her too much but again i don't watch and i don't watch enough shows with the standard family and you know if there's a bad parent or whatever like simpsons or family guy i stopped watching those like ages ago uh favorite naruto episode mm, that's a tough one because i have a lot Especially, especially uh, the, the original, not Shippuden. Okay, I'll just go with basically the moment where uh, Sakura during the Chunin exam where she cuts her hair off and all that jazz. That whole moment, that whole sequence, I think it was like, what, two or three episodes? That shit was fire. Damn shame the rest of her wasn't fire, but we're not going to talk about that here. But that specific moment was great. Least favorite Pixar film. Ah, we have a three-way tie on that one. Um, don't really care for The Good Dinosaur. Don't know why that movie exists. Um, Cars 2 can kindly kick it. And... Hmm, what's the third one? I'm trying to think of the third one. And oh, yeah, Toy Story 4. We didn't need that. All right. For both Susan and Emerald, favorite Silent Hill character, did you play Little Nightmares, worst Naruto moment, and did you watch Fate the Wink Saga? Okay, uh, I don't play Silent Hill because it is a, well, technically a war game, so I'm going to skip that one. I know of Little Nightmares, but because it's also horror-related, I have not played it. And I have not seen Naruto a lot, so I can't really name any moments that I hated. And I don't know Wink Saga too much. I just know my little sister likes Winks, but I I can't really I haven't watched it, so uh nope. <laughs> okay, Silent Hill, never played. 
I don't plan on playing. Not a horror fan. Uh, never heard of Little Nightmares up until now. Worst Naruto moment? Uh, well, really, you could just put any scene with Ten Ten in it as the worst, but I digress. Um, that uh, there's none. There's no specific. She's just. It's just any scene with her in it. Um, now I've heard of Fate the Wink Saga, but I am not a Winx fan, nor do I indulge in anything Winx related. So at this point, I don't really care about the series. It exists as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, we'll leave it at that. It exists. For both Susan and Grimm, favorite cover song and any thoughts on the Arcane series? Okay, this one I can answer. But I have a two-way tie for this one, and both of them are actually Hollow Stars covers. Well, that were done by Hollow Stars members. Um, there's a cover done by Regis Altair of Everything Goes On by Porter Robinson. And then there's another member, one of the JP stars, Kanada Izuru, who did a cover of Spinning Sky Rabbit. That's a really pretty song. I highly recommend those two. Both good songs. But they're both covers as well, so I highly recommend them. And uh, as for the Arcane series, I have never watched it, so I can't give an opinion on that either. Okay. As for me, favorite cover song is "Day uh, Is the Day of Fate" cover by Carthus Dojo. Outside of that, not really much else for that. And Arcane, I have seen a couple episodes of, but it wasn't really my thing. So um, yeah, for both Emerald and Grim, worst Bleach moment and best One Piece fight scenes. Okay, uh, worst Bleach moment. Hmm. Uh, well, I haven't watched the anime in a while, so I guess I'll just go with the manga, and I'll just say the ending! Um, as for the best One Piece fight scene... Oof, that's a tough one. Uh... I can't think of any specific that I'm just like, ooh, that one was that epic, because most of... For the most part, One Piece has some solid ass fight scenes. So. So I think. Which one am I thinking of on the top of my head? Oh. Um. I think I'll just go with uh, Luffy versus Crocodile in the Alabaster arc. We'll just. I'll just use that one for now. That's the one that comes to my head, to my mind immediately. We'll just go with that. Okay. For me, worst bleach moment is the um, it's the silver arrow shit from the Thousand Year Blood War arc that was just handled so stupidly that it just brings it down. I hope the anime will fix it when fix that issue when it gets adapted finally. And um, best One Piece fight scene, uh, probably Luffy versus Katakuri, or it's the final fight between Gear Five, Luffy and Kaido. All right, for all three, are you aware that Septipaws was a terrible person? Did you saw Club Dune's video on Game Dude? Any thoughts on Movie Bob? Did you see the Walking Dead series? And have you ever seen Green Eggs and Ham series? Okay, so most of these I have not heard of slash don't care about, except for number four. I know the Walking Dead series a little bit, but only through the uh, Telltale games, Walking Deads. I know that's different from the from the TV series, but I'm familiar with it, so I've kind of seen it, but uh, not exactly. That's all I got. Okay. Heard of Septi Paws. Don't care to, uh, much about it outside of that. I've seen many videos about it, and we're going to leave it there, because that's a whole thing to unpack. Uh... Never heard of Club Doom. Or this Gabe dude that Club Doom is talking about. So, don't know them. I used to watch Movie Bob, but then I stopped watching because I simply do not like him and he comes off as a bit of a creep. Uh, Walking Dead. Heard of the comics, they exist. Never cared for the series. Just not really a fan of a uh, zombie apocalypse of anything, any kind, any apocalypse thing. Not really a fan of zombies. Um, so it just sits there existing in the corner. Glad other people like it. And as for the Green Eggs and Ham series, yes, I have heard of it. Have not watched it, but I've heard of it. Uh, heard a lot of people really like it. 
Okay. For me, um, yeah, I'm aware that Septi Paz was a terrible fucking person. I was in one of the friggin' Senate calls with this prick. Um, Club Doom. No, I've seen it recommended in my feed, but I haven't seen it yet. I just know Game Dude's a creep. Uh, Movie Bob. Yeah, used to watch him, but Dude's a creep. So I stopped watching him. I used to see Walking Dead. I fell off it. And as for the Green Eggs and Ham series, I've heard of it, just never really saw it. Really Rue the Gorilla Fighter, 99 he asks. Worst and best Crush Bandicoot villain, character, level, story, and enemies. Okay, I'm actually going to be skipping on this one because I've never played Crush Bandicoot, Bandicoot, so you two have fun on this one. I played a single Crash game and level way back when I was a kid, so... I ain't got no skin on this one. For me, I don't really have a worse for any of these because I've only played Crash Team Racing and Crash Bash. And so I'll just go with that. Uh, villain, Cortex, character, Polar, the Polar Bear one. I think it was just Polar. Uh, level, I guess the final racing level from Team Racing. Story, again, Team Racing. Uh, enemies, I guess... Uh, I have no idea actually for this one. Sorry. Captain Smart Eye Pants asks, for all three, did you guys see some ordinary gamers video on the completionist? Are you aware how Keemstar reacted to Boogie 2988 talking about the LOLCAL Live podcast? Did you play Super Mario RPG Remastered and any thoughts on the Almighty Lolly? This is again another case where a lot of these questions I have to skip out on because I have no idea slash never heard of half of these people. However, Super Mario RPG Remastered, I've not played, however, I have seen some of the Hollow Stars play it. It's like it looks interesting, but I don't really have any interest in playing it though, so yeah. Okay, so uh, for question one, uh, I'm assuming, David, I'm assuming this is about. Um, the recent thing about regarding the completionist the open hands charity yeah 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 okay so no i have not watched any videos about that my information about that only comes from the hell site known as formerly known as twitter and i've opted to not look into it because if i start watching videos related to that my the algorithm's going to fuck with me and i don't need that right now um Second question, um, well, first off, the fuck Keemstar, so I don't really care what Keemstar's doing, and I have no interest in whatever the hell Boogie's doing, and, um, the fact that there is a LolCal Live podcast just gives me depression, because why does that exist? Three, yes, I have heard of the remastered Super Mario RPG. I have never played the original. In fact, I didn't even realize the original existed up until maybe, what, five years ago? So, I might be getting this remake of sorts. Uh, I don't know when. Probably around Christmas, because I gotta be careful with my fun with my finances but i might get it because it looks very interesting and from all the people who speak about this game it's been spoken about highly like everyone i talk to loves this fucking game so i might actually get my hands on it and then finally well i'm not even gonna repeat the name at this point because why the fuck does this name exist and um whoever this person is i hope they um consider changing that name all right as for me uh yes i've seen some more uh mudahar's video on completionist i am that's a fucking minefield just mm. i'm aware of what keemstar uh reacted to and that was just another minefield so it's just fucked for those two questions basically it's just a fucked up situation uh did i play mario rpg remastered no um i've heard interesting things about it so maybe one day i'll give it a shot i don't think it's worth the 60 dollars price tag for you americans and for me 90 dollars canadian so i may just buy it on sale in 2077 when it <laughs> because nintendo doesn't fucking discount their games often um from what i've looked up of almighty lolly he's primarily themed in berserk content I don't know why the fuck he chose that username though, but assuming he we doesn't do. Why. 
We know why. But as long as he doesn't do scuffed shit, then uh, they exist. That's about it. Mega Harley Quinn Fangirl 5400 asks, For Grim, have you played Sonic Superstars and any thoughts on r slash the YouTuber? Haven't played Sonic Superstars, so I can't really comment on it. I do, I will say though that the lizard uh, creature that shows up that's fighting alongside Fang and Eggman, that creature is adorable. But yeah, r slash, never really heard of them. So I don't have much of an opinion. For Susan, did you play Slay the Princess, Coffee or Tea, and favorite Naruto female character? I have not played Slay the Princess. And Coffee or Tea, I honestly prefer tea. I do not like coffee, the bitterness of it is... Ugh, I don't like it. And but I don't normally get tea. Like, maybe I'll have a brisk, like a brisk iced tea. That's probably the most I'll have. But yeah, I'd say tea. And Naruto character, favorite female Naruto character, probably, I guess, Hinata. She's cute. Okay. For Emerald, do you think that Raichu is underrated, worst Pokemon arrival, and most annoying thing in regards to Pokemon Generation 3? Oh boy. My favorite kinds of questions, Pokemon related. Okay. Do I think Raichu is underrated? Um. You know, I'm gonna give Raichu a fair shake here. Glad Raichu's gotten more attention lately, especially after their Alolan form was released. So you know, good shit, good shit. Worst Pokemon rival. Ooh, huh, okay. Um, well, that just depends on. Oh wait, I know exactly. Um, if you want to even call them rivals, but um, whoever they, but that entire group of friends you have in, in Gen Six. Um, I, I, I'll give X and Y credit for what they were trying to do, but that was one of the things where they fumbled severely. And um, I'm glad they learned from their mistake with later re with later regions, but uh, I hope they never consider doing that shit again. And if they do, they need to really uh, not uh, go about it differently. Oh, who am I kidding? I know at some point they're probably going to remake Gen 6, so maybe they'll fix it then. God only knows. We already know what happened when they remade Gen 4. Anywho. Yep, just as long as Ilka doesn't fucking touch it. Correct. Um, and then, most annoying thing in Gen 3. Well, so for those of you who are unaware, Gen 3 is my favorite generation. Hoenn is my girl. But if I had to pick something that I have an issue with in that region, um, I don't talk about this much, but if I have an issue with that region, oh, it has to be... I don't know how to explain it, but basically... Gen 3 had this thing where there were certain places you simply could not access unless you did a certain point part of the game. And it bothered the hell out of me. Like, for example, all those patches of where you could go underwater. That shit was annoying to even deal with, because then when you go underwater, it's slow as hell to go under there. Not even the option to go faster or run faster helped. So stuff like that. I'm glad that Pokemon's gone into a more open world thing so that that specific problem isn't as egregious. Where, you know, obviously there are certain things that have to happen to progress the story, but like, you know, if you want to go see a certain thing first, but it's still a thing in the later games, but it's not as egregious in, especially in Scarlet and Violet, even though those games have their own fair share of issues. Okay. For both Susan and Emerald, what do you think of the Pink Sloss Lady? Any thoughts on Spats, the YouTuber, and did you play the LEGO video games? I don't really have any opinions with the first and second ones. And I've never really played a LEGO video game fully. The only time I ever touched a LEGO video game is when I went to my old dentist's office when they would have those little video game kiosks in the waiting room. They sometimes had LEGO games on there. So that was probably the closest thing I'd have to playing a LEGO game. Okay, Pink Sauce Lady. Yes, I've heard of that whole situation. That whole... and I regret looking into it. I, I, it was bad enough that I had to see it in real time. Anyway, um... I don't know who Spats the YouTuber is. First time hearing that they even exist, so I'm just gonna leave that alone. 
And yes, I played Lego Star Wars. I don't know which one. I just know that I played one of them uh, because my little brother used to have one of those games for the DS, I believe. And that was the one time I was able to ever play it. Okay. And for all three, have you heard that Omega is shutting down? Are you aware of the AI Family Guide stream bomb threat? And do you think Kanye West will recover from what he's done? This is another case where I've never heard of Slash. I don't care about any of these. So, uh, next. Call me this easy. Fuck Omega. Glad it shut down for obvious reasons. Um, never heard of this AI Family Guide BS, but. Uh, yikes. Um, very much yikes, regardless of who did what. Um, and no, uh, fuck Kanye West. Um, he has been saying some very egregious shit, and I don't think he'll recover from it. I don't think it'll matter. I don't think my opinion will matter at the end of the day, because there are plenty of people who still support the guy, which is concerning. But me personally, I don't think... He as far as I'm concerned, he don't exist <laughs> in, my, in my review mirror, okay? Uh, for me, uh, yes, I've heard Omegle is shutting down. Honestly, good riddance. Um, first time I'm hearing about the whole Family Guy thing, I'm aware that there was an AI Family Guy shit going around, but I wasn't aware of this whole threat. And uh, similar to what my friend Emerald said, fuck Kanye West. So, uh, no, I don't think he's going to recover. Fuck him. <laughs> All right. Period. Yep, George Alpio asks, For Grimm, which other anime bridge series do you watch? Any thoughts on Dash reviews and favorite Greek mythology? Okay. Um, other anime bridge series. Used to watch Code Ment. Uh, when that was still around, I used to watch Naruto Bridged by Vegeta uh, 3986, I believe was the name. Uh, the one that uh, Masako was in. That wasn't the little Kuribo one. That was about it. I don't really watch a lot of uh, bridge series outside of that, except for maybe that Spy Family 2 thing, which is kind of an abridged series, but I've only seen some of the clips. Uh, Dash Reviews exists. That's all I know about them. And my favorite Greek mythology, probably Heracles slash Hercules. All right. Susan has six questions. Favorite and least favorite Japanese game. Most annoying Minecraft enemy. Favorite Greek goddess. Favorite coffee talk character. Things you hate in coffee talk. And most annoying thing in GX Scale of Darkness. I can't really think of any off the top of my head, honestly. Um, and Minecraft enemy. Um, I don't personally play Minecraft, though I've seen a ton of the All Star Boys play it. I guess probably. Hmm. This is from personal for me watching. Watch from watching a hardcore Minecraft stream that the Hollow Stars did recently, but probably the creepers and the gas that you find in the uh, Nether, because the creepers was one of the reasons my Oshi and Hollow Stars Mina Rio was eliminated early in the in the run because he got surprise attacked behind by a creeper, and the gas were pretty annoying in the uh, in the. Uh, Nether that were constantly attacking the boys. It ended up costing one of the other EM boys, Axel, to pretty much lose in his spot. So, I would say those two. And my favorite Greek goddess? Probably Venus, I guess? Because, I mean, that's what... That's what, uh... My boyfriend here sometimes calls me. <laughs> yep, that is true. And my favorite Coffee Talk character? Um... Probably, probably Rachel and, oh, what's her name? Oh, the fish girl, what's her name? Aqua. Aqua, yeah. Uh, my favorites are Rachel and Aqua. They're very cute. Because Rachel's a Neko Mimi who transforms into a kitty, and Aqua's pretty much a sea creature, partially, so I'd say those two. Um, I have things I hate in Coffee Talk, I've... Honestly, never really found anything to hate. I mean, it's just a pretty much a casual game where you're just converse conversing with people. Maybe I kind of wish there was more interacting slash um, things you can do besides making coffee. Like maybe add some features. Like maybe also making a, a food or something would be nice. 
so I'd say I just wish they added like more to do besides just people talking and serving them coffee. It's a great game, by the way. Coffee Talk is a good game. Highly recommend it. And most of the only thing in Pokemon Pokemon Gale of Darkness, which by the way is also a pretty good game, um, probably the whole annoying thing where you have to like have to go to like the lab just to purify the Pokemon that are in like the lab containment. Especially when you're in like a faraway place and you're like in the middle of like the post game, like the last part of the game and then you, oh your Pokemon have to get purified and you have to go straight back to the lab to purify them all and all that and just and then swap the new new shadow Pokemon in, wait a while and just keep repeating the process. If they can make like that more accessible through the PC instead of having to go straight to the lab to do it, it'd be much easier but they didn't do that, so I'd say that. For Emerald, favorite TF2 Team Fortress 2 character, what is the origin of your username and favorite moments from Survivor's first season? Okay, so before we even get there, um, I've only watched one season of Survivor and it wasn't the first season. Um, and I I don't, don't play TF2, so I don't know shit all about it. Uh, um, and then, of course, the origin of my username. Okay, so, obviously, Emerald, it's another name for green. Green is my favorite color. And the term Emerald Star comes from my old character known as Andy Green, whose superhero name was named Emerald Star in his show known as the Emerald Chronicles. Around the time the show was what, a year into its run, I had changed my uh, old channel from what it was called into Emerald Star Productions. And then I changed that name into another channel uh, name, and then I moved to Emerald Star Productions on another channel. And I just kept the name regardless of where I went, because, well, it's a fucking great name. Uh, just It just suited me well. Um, and then at some point, I just made it my username. Yeah, I think I made the switch officially in 2021 uh, from what it once was, which was TellyZX. And no, we don't get a... I'm not telling you why, why his name's that. But yeah, Emerald Star comes from all of my character, Andy Green. And that was, what, almost 10 years ago at this point? So... It's been around for a hot minute. All right. For both Susan and Emerald, favorite John Oliver jokes, best and worst game theory episode, did you see the trailer by Sweet Carol? Any thoughts on Sydney Watson, and did you watch She-Ra? Um, this is, again, another case where a good majority of these I have not heard of slash not seen, so... Yeah. Okay. So... Favorite John Oliver jokes. Child, I don't watch him enough to have a favorite joke, okay? Um, I do watch his stuff, though. I want to be very clear. Um, best and worst game theory episode. I don't watch a lot of game theory, so I really do not care about Matt Pat in the first place. Um, every so often, he puts out a gem. Um, outside of that, I don't really care for his content. Um... I don't know what Sweet Carol is or who they are, so I'm just gonna skip that. And I have no fucking idea who Sydney Watson is. And did I watch Shira? I'm assuming they're talking about the reboot. And yes, I've seen season one of the reboot. I have not watched the other four seasons. Uh, season one did not impress me. But I like what it was giving, for the most part, and I like that it's very fucking gay. Also, Stan Bo. For both <laughs> Susan and Grimm, favorite Nickelodeon show and spaghetti or pizza? Um, I watched a lot of Nick's shows when I was a kid. Mmm. I can't really name any off the top of my head that were like a favorite. Like, anything that was really playing on TV at the time, I watched. But I can't really name a favorite. And for spaghetti or pizza, pizza, hands down. Love pizza, it's one of my favorite foods. Spaghetti is a good food too. Granted, my like we sometimes will have it every other weekend if we're lucky, but 
I'd say pizza more, because it's delicious, especially meat lovers pizza. Mm. So good. For me, uh, favorite Nick show would be SpongeBob, just because like it still has that same power even after all these decades and all the changes. For me, I'd say spaghetti like has done or works a lot more for me than pizza, lard, but that's just me. Pizza's still really good though, so I'll go with that. For both Emerald and Grimm, uh, did you play Cuphead and Weirdest Moments from Survivor Season 10? Emerald already answered with the Survivor thing, and Season 10 was not the season he saw. Correct. I believe it was 17, wasn't it? Token genes, yeah. Okay, wow, I still remember that. I love that for me. Anyway, um, Cuphead. No, never played it. At all. Will I ever play it? God only knows. I'm a procrastinator with the games that I'm playing as is. For me, I played Cuphead, just have not touched Dinner Last Course, aka the DLC. Maybe one day. But yeah, Cuphead was good. And Weirdest Moments from Survivor 10th Season, aka Palau, was... Um... I guess just the final challenge, because they were up there for like a really long fucking time. Um, they started in like the morning and then they ended at night. I think it was like 12 hours or something they were on the poles. Like that was just weird. <laughs> it did make for a funny moment where Ian was like jumping off the pole into the water, which I made into a shit post where, but I'd say that was the weirdest moment. All right, for all three, what do you think of Retrospectors, the community that broke me? Did you see Master Ugwe's videos of him in YouTube? Have you seen John Lasseter's Luck movie? And did you hear about Timonen RPG ecstasy controversy when players are paying for the does mistakes? This is, again, another thing where I've not heard of any of these things, so I'm not going to answer. You know, outside of John, the John Lasseter question, I'm going to have to go with Susan on this one, too. Um, I've never heard of whoever the fuck Retrospector is. Um, I'm assuming Master Uguay is a YouTuber with that in, with that name. Never heard of them. Uh, and I have not heard of this RPG controversy. Definitely have not heard of that. I don't keep up with gamer news. Um, as for John Lasseter's movie, it existed... And I'm glad it failed, and I'm glad he's fumbling. For me, uh, first time I'm hearing about this, the community that broke me video, so I'll probably add that to a queue or later playlist. Um, I have not seen Master Uguay's videos, so I'll add that to the backlog. Um, no, I have not seen John Lasseter's Luck movie, just because nothing about it screamed interesting to me. And it's also the first time I'm hearing about this uh, controversy, but if the players are paying for the death mistakes, that is fucking scummy. Sister Baybop asks, For Grim, have you played any of the Wario games and Hardest Boss from the Undertale series? Uh, no, I haven't played the Wario games, maybe one day, and Hardest Boss, Sans. Just Sans. For Susan, have you played Smash Brothers, and did you see Charlie's Angels? If so, what do you think of it? Okay, so I have played Smash Brothers. I had played the, um, the 3DS version and the Switch version, which, by the way, I think it was you, sweetie, that got me into it. Because I think you, I think you sent me the 3DS game of it, I believe. Yes, I did send you the 3DS version. Yeah, and then I started, and then the Switch version came out, and I got that, so I have played it. Um, granted, I'm not a good player, but it is a fun game when I get to play as my favorite characters, like Lucario. And Charlie's Angels, I know of it. I might have seen the, one of the movies, but that was probably because my parents were probably watching it, like, on their TV, and I was just, like, around in the background, but... I know of it, I just, but I don't really have any memories of it, so I'll just say that. For Emerald, did you play any of the Final Fantasy games, and what do you think of Teen Titans Go? Okay. Uh, huh. Never played a Final Fantasy game before. Um, if I ever get around to it, I might consider playing one of them. I don't know which one it was, I just know... I forgot. Is which one of them's on the Switch? Was was it seven? Seven is on the Switch, yeah. Okay, so it was probably seven. Uh, if I ever get around to it, and if I ever consider spending money on 
get on these games, I will potentially play that, but I don't know yet. But no, I have not played any as of right now. And as for Teen Titans Go, yes, of course I've heard of it. Who hasn't heard of it? It exists. I find the show can be funny at times. I did like the movie. Sometimes it can be funny. Other times it's the hottest mess I've ever seen. So it's kind of a 50-50 split. But it I, I tell you this, it is not as bad as everyone says it is. Okay? Some folks just made it out to be this the fucking worst and... I just have to disagree. It's really not that bad. It can be bad, but let's not make it sound like it's the worst thing to happen in the world. Okay. For both Susan and Emerald, what do you think of the Velma series? Have you seen High Guardian Spice? And do you have any thoughts on Webtoon? So I know of the Velma series, and I've never seen it, but I've heard it has some controversy going around it, so I'm not really interested in it. I've never seen or heard of High Guardian Spice, but for webtoons I have heard of, and I used to read Let's Play, but then it went on a break and I kind of fought, fell behind in all the chapters. It was a good series though, I will admit. I just have I didn't never I never got back into it after it came back. Um, so I'd say it's a good it's a pretty good site. I'd say if you want to go and read some nice comics, I. Like, I definitely like Let's Play back when I was reading it. And, um, I, um, another series that I know of, uh, it's the one about the four boys that are in, like, a Boyfriend. relationship. Yeah, I, I know the, I know the artist that, that does the series, because when he, that artist was doing, like, a, um, I think a season finale or something, and had, he had two special VTubers, um, voice in like a special uh, chapter, I think, like a special like event stream that he did for the for a season finale, I think that was I really cool. I, I think I know what you're talking about. Yeah, I, re I read I read the comic as well. Mm. Um, so I say Webtoons is definitely a good site. I also know one of the um of someone of a VTuber named Merryweather who does a lot of comics for Webtoons as well. So yeah. Oh boy, I have many thoughts on these questions. So, Velma. Yes, I've heard of Velma. Um, unfortunately, I'm easily influenced, so when people initially said the show sucked, I just did not bother watching it. Um, I've come around and realized, you know, I'm going to watch it for myself at some point. Well, assuming I ever touch Max again, because it, that, that, fuck that streaming service. Um, I've seen clips of it. I don't think it's that bad. Are there moments that are bad? Yeah, it's sort of a Teen Titans Go situation, if I'm being honest. Uh, never bothered with High Guardian Spice. I saw a few clips of it. It exists. I don't really have much of an opinion on it outside of that. Uh, some of y'all are overblowing how bad it might have been, just for the record. Regardless of me seeing it or not, we, a lot of y'all tend to really take your thoughts on something way too far for one reason or another. And as for Webtoon, <laughs> oh, I fucking love Webtoon. For those of you unaware, I am obsessed with webcomics. Um, if you, I, I have a whole video essay channel talking about comics that I used to do videos on. So, yes, I'm very obsessed with webcomics, especially ones on Webtoon. I will not list all the ones that I'm reading. Um, whichever two that Susan said she read, I have read as well. And those are the only ones you need to know, because if I told you all the comics I did read, we'd be here all evening. And we don't need that. Point is, I do like uh, the comics on Webtoon. Now, as a platform, I think Webtoon's cool, but it's got some issues that it needs to sort out. Um, the app and platform in general is oversaturated with a lot of new comics coming out. Um, some of their comics, no shade to the creators, are kind of blending in at this point because of how many are coming in. And with all their controversies, which I will not speak on here, um, they need to do a better check on the comics that are being posted and be a little better about uh, the ratings of their comics, too. Because 
that's one of the reasons why Let's Play, which was brought up earlier, ended up leaving the platform in the first place. So, yeah. Webtoon overall is great. So, a lot of the comics on there are fantastic, and they have some of the best queer rep I've seen. Mainstream media, please catch up. But it does have some issues that they can definitely iron out if they actually sit the fuck down and iron them out. They're both Susan and Grimm, favorite stream game of 2023, and have you played World of Warcraft? I assume they're talking about Steam. I have no idea. I'm, I guess we'll go for that. So, I guess... Hmm. What have I played recently uh, that came out this year? Um, Didn't Coffee Talk Episode 2 come out this year? Yeah, it did. I would, I guess, say that. And I have not played World of Warcraft. Heard of it, but I've not played it. Alright. For me, um, assuming you mean stream, I'm going to go with um, Suica Game. If not, and you meant Steam, uh, Like a Dragon Gaiden. As for World of Warcraft, as mentioned previously, I do not play World of Warcraft, so uh, I can't comment much on it. Both Emerald and Grimm, underrated monster design and underrated Pokemon from Sword and Shield. Um, when you say monster design, what do you mean? I guess just in general in this case? Okay, I'll, yeah, I'll just say werewolf. I don't know. It, yeah, it's you know, it's, it's, a vague. it's very vague. Yeah. <laughs> and then underrated Pokemon from Sword and Shield. Ooh, okay. Oh shit, shit, shit. Oh no, no, no! I just thought of his name. Oh no, 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 no! Ah, Dotler. There we go. My boy Dotler. Fucking love that boy. That's my. I love him. He's so adorable. He doesn't do much, but he's adorable. <laughs> All right, for me, uh, I'm going to go with Zamtrius, Zamtrios, whatever, shark dragon thing from Monster Hunter. Love the, fr love the little guy. Uh, he's a snow shark. Anyways, underrated Pokemon, I'm going to go with Hatteran because, of course, like I love this thing. How I did guess I know I you were going to choose Hatteran? Of course. He's either that or Cramorant, but I think Cramorant's gained a lot of well-respected love in recent years. He's Considering how memes. much you like Hatteran, yeah, I could see it. Cramorant is part of memes, of <laughs> so yes, lots of love. I mean, he's in Unite for fuck's sake. Anyways. Exactly. <laughs> and for all three, what do you think of Boy in a Band, and have you read Ben Shapiro's book, True Allegiance? I am not who know who that person is, and I have uh, not read the book, so nope. I think we can all just, on a, in a consensus, just say, fuck Ben Shapiro. So we don't have to answer that fucking question. Um, heard of Boy in a Band. Pretty sure they've collaborated with other content creators. They exist. I, 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 they're a singer, right? Yeah. Okay, then I've definitely seen them collaborate with other uh, singers. It just has. I just haven't watched a lot of those creators in a while. I just know that name sounds very familiar. Okay. Uh, for me then, uh, <laughs> fuck this guy. When it comes to Boy and his band, like this dude. Yeah, he's been accused of hemophilia and sexual deviance towards children underage. Like I said, fuck this guy. Well, shit. And as for Ben Shapiro, no, I haven't read it because I hate Ben Shapiro. So, uh, hopefully yeah, again, question. again, fuck Ben Shapiro. Okay, Fanboy X Jr. asks, uh, did you play Xenoblade Chronicles, most annoying mission from Sonic Adventure, and any thoughts on Pound Puppies? Haven't played Xenoblade, most annoying mission is probably the big mission just because I don't have the patience at points, and Pound Puppies exists. Not much else, though, about it. For Susan, worst female boss fight, worst joke you've ever heard, best girl in one piece, and most disappointing arc of a character. Okay, I can't answer the first two because I have no idea. Best girl in one piece? Probably Nami. And the uh, disappointing arc? Mm. It's honestly been a long time since I really watched any, any anime, so I can't really name anything off the top of my head for this one either. 
I'll sit, but best girl in one piece, definitely, Nami. All right. For Emerald, what do you think of Fat Albert cartoon and movie? Do you think that Twitch is a joke? Where's Pokemon and Gold, Silver, Crystal, and best Digimon character? Okay. Where, okay, have I heard of the Fat Albert cartoon and movie? Okay, I've heard of a movie. I'm pretty sure you're talking about the live action movie with uh, Keenan and Thompson in it. Uh, so I've seen that too many times. I've heard of the cartoon. It exists, but we do not talk about it because it's created by a certain creep that has fallen from grace. Um, do you think that Twitch is a joke? Well, I wouldn't say it's a complete joke. A lot of people I I know stream on there, so... I mean, as a business, they probably have some issues they can really sort out. And, uh, don't know... And, you know, their convention exists. Uh... I even have a Twitch, so I can't say they entirely you know, are a joke, but, you know, they exist. Uh, where's Pokemon and Gold, Silver, and Crystal? Okay, so Johto. Um, oh, I can't diss Johto. I like Johto. Well, if I had to pick a Pokemon that I don't like in Johto... You know, now that I think about it, I do not have a Pokemon that I vehemently hate in Johto. And if I do, I probably can't think of it right now. They don't have... there's... because... <laughs> I don't know. I just... because the first time I ever played in Johto was Heart Gold Soul Silver, so... and I really enjoyed that. And I can't say I hate any Pokemon from there, because they're all pretty decent. Hell, my all-time favorite Pokemon is from that region, Crobat, in case you're wondering. So, I don't know. We'll just skip that. Uh, best Digimon character. Well, okay, so I am a huge Digimon fan up until a certain point. Uh, uh, who's my favorite character? Um, I think we'll just go with a human character for now. Uh... Shit. Uh, what's the main guy's name for Zero Two? Uh, Davis. There we go, Davis. Him. I like all the people in that group, but he's my favorite. For both Susan and Emerald, have you seen Eltingville's pilot? Do you think Andrew Tate is a joke or serious threat? Do you play chess? And favorite nineties cartoon, nineties cartoon and anime. So I don't really have any opinion on the first two questions. I don't personally play chess, though I love watching anime cosplay chess on YouTube when people do those at conventions. Some of my favorite chess matches are from Anime Boston when they do those. Good stuff. And my favorite 90s cartoon slash anime, uh, Pokemon. Pokemon's my everything. So, I'd say Pokemon. <laughs> okay. Uh, never heard of that pilot, so we're just gonna skip that. Uh, I'm assuming it's an animated pilot. I guess. Like so, I, I, if it's an animated pilot, I might look into it. Um, Andrew Tate exists, and he deserves everything he's getting. And I hope he suffers. He was never a serious threat, if we're going to be honest. He's just an idiot who ended up fumbling his bag by leaking where he was where he was and ended up um dealing with the consequences of his actions. So fuck him. No, I do not play chess, never bothered to learn how. Favorite 90s cartoon and anime. Oh boy, every millennial's favorite question. Um Favorite 90s cartoon, Ed Ed and Eddie. Uh, duh. uh a favorite 90s anime. Oh. Sailor Moon. Oh, Yu Yu Hakusho did come out in the 90s, didn't it? Yeah. Okay, yeah, Yu Yu Hakusho. I was thinking that came out in the 2000s, so I was going to just put that aside. Didn't DBZ come out in the 90s, too? Well, it aired in the 90s. I'm pretty sure, because Toonami had that unlock. So, I was going to say Yu Yu Hakusho, but we'll just say Dragon Ball Z, because that was the, like, the first anime that I 
never watched thanks to Toonami. So we'll just go with Dragon Ball Z because that's my girl. All right. For both Susan and Grimm, favorite Winnie the Pooh story and why did Tara Strong lie and was a jerk on Twitter? So I have no idea about the whole Tara Strong situation. I grew up watching Winnie the Pooh a little bit. I had one of the original uh, VHS tapes of Winnie the Pooh that had like, I think, three stories on it. It's because it was the one with Winnie the Pooh getting honey, then Winnie the Pooh getting stuck in Rabbit's house, and then there was the winner, like, and then the one where Tigger came in and all that. That whole VHS collection, I had that. So I, I guess I'd say that, I'd say. For me, I don't really have a favorite Winnie the Pooh story because it wasn't really a major part of my childhood, surprisingly. As for why Tara Strong lied, I have no fucking idea. She wanted to do stupid shit. <laughs> That's really the long and short of it. Um, For both Emerald and Grimm, which is better, Naruto or Boruto, and killing Ace in One Piece was a mistake, yes or no? Okay, Naruto is better. We There's just no competition. You can say what you want about Naruto and its ending and all of the issues that it has. But between the two, it's just better. I mean, the only reason Baruto exists is because of the origin of the series before it. Now, I have not seen a lot of Baruto. For all I know, there could be some moments in there that are gen uh, generally good. I don't know, and I don't want to find out because... Naruto should have ended where it should, where uh, right there uh, when it ended. I don't know why we needed a sequel series of sorts. And was killing Ace in one piece a mistake? Uh, no, because it led to growth for Luffy. Like it had impact. It had impact. I should know. I should. I should made me emotional as fuck. <laughs> All right, for me, I'm going to go with Naruto because while Boruto has some interesting moments, um, it's few and far between in comparison to Naruto, which honestly should have ended after with Naruto killing Sausage, but that's besides the point. Um, as for killing Ace, no, I don't think it was a mistake. I think it was necessary to advance the story. It's not our fault Ace decided to be stupid and decided, oh man, uh, big a big guy with lava power is insulting my dad. I better go fight him, even though I have the weaker power. Like, ugh. Anyways. So, no, I would say it wasn't a mistake. It was necessary. And for all three, any thoughts on Crazy Kate's video on Zay and Magenta? Any thoughts on Dorkly? What do you think of Gaming Magic 13's content? And did you see Pop Culture's Detectives Donald Duck meets Glenn back in Right Wing Radio Duck? That is a mouthful. <laughs> <laughs> um, This is, again, another case. I don't have any opinion or of any of these. I'm sorry. <laughs> I just don't have any opinion on any of these. Okay, so... Uh, number one... Don't know who Crazy Kate is, but I know who Zayd Magenta is, and... I do not like them. So, I have not seen this person's video on Zayd Magenta at all, and I haven't watched any of Zayd Magenta's videos in a long while, and we're gonna keep it that way. Um, I've seen Dorkly's videos. I used to be subscribed to the channel, but I stopped watching maybe four years ago. Um, I like them for the most part. I don't think there's anything bad about them, unless something come unless something came up. These days, you just never know. <laughs> um, so yeah. Uh, never heard of Gaming Magic Thirteen, and that last one, that entire title, just sounds like a YouTube poop. I'm not gonna lie. For me, haven't seen it. Dorkly, I don't like. Uh, never heard of Gaming Magic until this, so I'm just gonna say they exist. And I have not seen Pop Culture's video on Donald Dunk. Fangirl Poison IV Girl Fan 1242 asks For Grim, have you played Age of Mythology and Worst Grass type Pokemon? Haven't played it, but it looks appealing. Worst grass type Pokemon, Sunkern. For Susan, any thoughts on the Tinkerbell movies? Have you seen Attack on Titan and favorite Firestarter? I have seen the first Tinkerbell movie. It was okay. I know a little bit about the second one. I mean, I know the third one does exist, but I've not seen it. A lot of part of it as well. I mean, 
I guess in a way it's okay. It's a nice way to expand on Tinkerbell's universe. And I do like Silver Mist, the uh, one fairy in her friend group. Very cute. Uh, I know of Attack on Titan because I hear about it a lot like on social media. Especially recently with it coming to an end. So, but I don't, I never really watch the series because the Titans kind of scare me. So, but I know of it and I never, I never really seen it fully. Well, I could have sworn I may have seen the first episode, but I'm not sure. And my favorite fire starter? Fennekin. Cute little fox. The little score bunny comes in a close second because it's a bunny. <laughs> All right. For Emerald, favorite werewolf, favorite and least favorite water type Pokemon, and favorite grass starter. Okay, so, um, when you say favorite werewolf, it's like, wow, that, that opens up a whole can of worms, but okay. Uh, so I thank you for asking this, because fun fact, I do love werewolves. Um, my favorite one, though, it would have to be Derek from Teen Wolf. That is my favorite one. Uh, that's as best as I can say. Um, uh, favorite... Oh, boy, more Pokemon questions. Uh, okay, it's not limited to starter, so I can just pick one. Um, favorite water type. It was just on the top. The tie between Mudkip or Froakie because I can't think of a water type off the top of my head. Um, and then favorite grass starter. Well, duh, that's Turtwig. We've been new. All right. For both Susan and Emerald, any thoughts on the Beastars anime, favorite poison type Pokemon, and which Pokemon in Black and White series is underrated to you? So I I've heard of Beastars. I never really seen it. I can't really give any opinion on it, honestly. I mean, it's a thing. Um, my favorite poison type? I think it's Bulbasaur? And underrated Pokemon Black and White? Probably the Solosis line? It's really cute! I like the Solosis line, it's really adorable. I'd say that one. Hey. I've heard of Beastars. I've never bothered watching it. Um, I know a lot of people love it. Just not for me. It's whatever. Uh, favorite poison type Pokemon? My all time bo favorite boy, Crobat. Uh, duh. That's my boy. That's my all time fave. Crobat, you will always be famous. Fa and which Pokemon in black and white is, is underrated? That award would go to my boy Scrafty. I know a lot of people like Scrafty. I wouldn't, but I personally find Scrafty to be underrated. Plus, Scrafty is just so fun to have in my party. So anytime he gets to be available in a Pokemon game is just a plus for me. That's my boy. For both Susan and Grimm, do you think Misty was a horrible character and trainer and worst total drama character? Uh, opinion on Misty, um... I mean, she was pretty much Ash's first travel companion. I wouldn't say she's a horrible trainer, because she at least takes care of her Pokemon and everything. Um, I don't know if she really had a lot of plot, but she was definitely a part of- she was- Well, because she was a big part of Ash's travel journeys, I can't really say I hate her. And I- I actually personally also cosplay Misty whenever I go to, like, little comic events. I want to one day go to a con and actually cosplay her fully, pro properly. And worst total drama character? Probably Ezekiel. I just don't like him, honestly. Okay. For me, uh, I don't think she was a horrible character and trainer. I think she was just fine. And worst total drama character? Mal from Total Drama All-Stars. Biggest mistake they ever made outside of... Well, making Total Drama Rama, you know, a decade after the whole Muppets baby thing. Two decades, technically. For both Emerald and Grimm, do you think that Pokemon should stop with the exclusive version Pokemon and favorite episode from the third season of The Simpsons? Right, right off the bat, I have no idea what episode from season three of The Simpsons were, so you ain't getting an answer from me on that one. Um, and then, do we think should 
Okay. Now, this is a tough one. On one hand, yes, please stop doing that. I know why they do it, because, you know, they want us to get the other games. So, you know, they want us to trade. I get why they do it. It's just sometimes it's very annoying when... Uh, back in the day, before I met y'all, it was hard to find someone who had the opposite game. So that would make it difficult to, you know, trade. And let's not even get into how trading was before uh, <laughs> Nintendo Wi-Fi came into play. Those were the days. Um, eh, it depends. Because some Pokemon are in the different games for a reason. And while some... And, you know, I'm not in a rush to get every single Pokemon, even though the whole point is gotta catch them all. i just be lucky if I finish my Pokemon game in the first place. For me, I think they should stop with version exclusives nowadays because, well, it's just gotten ridiculous, and I think the time could instead be used for literally anything better with the franchise. And as for Simpsons, I haven't seen, so I can't really comment on it. And for all three, did you see August the Duck's video on Darman? Did you know that Mei was a different character in the Pokemon manga? Have you seen the Baki anime? And do you think Poison type Pokemon could be powerful and not a joke? Uh, I know of Darman because I see their content on my Facebook a lot. I did, I didn't know if someone made a video on them. Um, I didn't know Mei was different in the manga. Um, because I don't read the Pokemon manga. I only watched the anime, so I only knew one version of May. Um, I have not seen the Baki anime, or whatever that is. And, I don't... Depending on how... I know a lot of poison types. Mm, I don't really seem poison as powerful, honestly, so... I don't know, honestly. Poison types are fine as is, I guess. Okay, so I have no idea who August the Duck or Darman are. This is my first time hearing about them, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, no, I don't, I didn't know about the whole May thing, because I, similar to Susan, I only watched the anime, so I've never read the Pokemon manga before. Um, have I seen the Baki anime? No, um... Not interested. And you would think, but it's got big buff guys in it. Yes, I know, I know, but um, there is such a thing as too much. And do you think poison type Pokemon could be powerful and not a joke? I already think they're powerful as is. Could they be better? Yes, of course they can, but they're not the worst. Again, if we want to go back to my boy Crobat, um, he's got a, some dope move set, uh, moves. Uh, that are poison cross poison is that girl <laughs> okay for me uh no i haven't seen the video on darman so i'll add that to the queue i did know that may was different in the manga because i was reading some portions of the ruby and sapphire adventures manga back in the day have i seen baki i've seen clips haven't seen the series but it looks interesting and do i think that could be powerful in a joke yeah i just think it needs a little shove in the right direction Angry Cowboy asks, for Grim, what do you think of Rick and Morty and least favorite episode from Yu-Gi-Oh! Season 2? Because I can read. Ah, uh, totally. Um, Rick and Morty exists. Not a fan of the whole community, but it exists. And least favorite Yu-Gi-Oh! episode from the second season? Probably any filler at this point. Just wasn't my thing. For Susan, favorite and least favorite Mass Effect female alien character and why? What is the origins of your username and any thoughts on Jaden Animations? So, I have not played Mass Effect, so I can't really give an answer on this. The origins of my username, um, that I can answer. So, it's of course my name, Susan, and the Sakura Snow Fox bit. So, the Snow Fox part of my name stems from, well, back when I was, when I do stream on, I still stream on Twitch, by the way, but back then I used the Nolan Vulpix avatar. And, cause I like Nolan Vulpix, it's really cute. But as time came on and I wanted to develop myself, wanted to like develop a VTuber character for myself, I wanted to still keep like me becoming like an Arctic Fox, but that's kind of a 
boxes are kind of a common thing I see in the VTuber community, so... I want- I thought to myself, what if I make it a vulp- like an arctic fox, but have Sakura somehow mixed into it, so... That's kind of where my name Susan Sakura Snow Fox came from. I'm basically an arctic fox who lives among an ever-blooming Sakura grove, and... Yeah, that's pretty much where my username came from, so... There's that. And Jane Animations, I love her- I loved her Pokemon, uh, animation she did. Those are some good stuff. That was the reason why I did my Emerald Nuzlocke, which I still have not finished. And I did hear she also became a VTuber too, so good for her. But I love her. I loved her uh, Nuzlocke animation she did. Good stuff. Her Emerald, favorite and least favorite Pokemon from Gen 3, favorite Cartoon Network cartoon, biggest missed opportunity in Pokemon from Gen 3, and least favorite anime from the 90s. Give me just a moment, I'll be right back. <laughs> All right, so, um, well, my favorite Pokemon from Owen. Ugh. Well, shit, I like a lot of the Pokemon there. Hmm. But if I had to pick one that I don't necessarily like, I won't say hate, just dislike. Not too big on Soul Rock and Lunatone. There are tie. They just exist. Um, honorable mention goes to Kecleon. Uh, favorite. Hmm. Again, there's just so many I like. So I'll just have to go with one that I can think of on the spot. And that immediately goes to my boy Wurmple and any of its evolution, really. I love the Wurmple line in general. Uh, favorite Cartoon Network show? Ed, Ed, and Eddie. That was easy. Biggest missed opportunity in Pokemon Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald? This award goes to the Hoenn remakes. You should have put Battle Frontier in there. You should have done Emerald instead. That's all I gotta say. Okay? All right. Um, least favorite anime from the 90s? I do not have a least favorite. Most of the anime I watched, I watched all the way through and enjoyed. So that's all I got to say. For both Susan and Grimm, least favorite Pokemon card and favorite Kirby moments. I don't really have a least favorite Pokemon card because uh, it's... Uh, it was, I mean, I like collecting Pokemon cards, but I never really found a card I hate. As for favorite Kirby moments, well, I will admit I have not played a Kirby game fully. I I mean, aside from playing Kirby in Smash Brothers sometimes, I guess the one thing I like at Kirby is that when he does his little Hi! That's always cute. You know, how he likes to wave at everybody with a little Hi! You know what I'm talking about? It's cute. I like that. Okay. Uh, for me, I don't play the TCG, so I don't have much of a uh, least favorite on that. As for favorite Kirby moments, well, uh, probably the ending of Forgotten Land. That was a really good moment. If you know, you know. Both Emerald and Susan, have you played Tomb Raider, Old and New, and any thoughts on Lily Orchard? I have not played Tomb Raider, and I have no thoughts on this person. Never played Tomb Raider, heard of them. Uh, Lily Orchard, they exist. Do not like them? Moving on. Both Emerald and Grimm, any thoughts on Voltron and fighting Ash to fight Tobias? Was it a stupid idea? I mean, it's it's whatever. Listen, this was at the time when Ash couldn't catch a break and win a damn thing. So, you know, this was before we made our way to Kalos. So it's whatever. I, I don't have a real opinion on that. I'm just glad he beat Paul. That's all I cared about. He could have lost anything else, but I'm just glad he whooped Paul's ass. I'm just so glad. Do you have any idea how therapeutic that was? Um, as for the first question, yes, I've heard of Ultron. I'm assuming we're talking about the Netflix show. Uh, so I watched the first season, similar to She-Ra. Um, didn't really like how the first season ended, and judging from all the reactions from the many people who stuck around the show didn't do such a hot job after season one anyway so you know 
probably for the best I didn't watch beyond season one. For me, uh, Voltron exists. I recall little bits of the 90s version, and I recall some controversies regarding uh, the DreamWorks version. Um, so that's fun. Maybe one day I'll get into it. I've gotten into other things eventually, after years after their release, as I've shown in the series. Um, but not... But currently, no thoughts on it. And uh, I think it was a stupid idea for Ash to fight Tobias. And I think it was mainly done so that Ash wouldn't win the uh, Sinnoh League. Because the horror of that. Just going to Generation 5's anime. Oh no. Uh, anyways. And for all three of you, what do you think of IGN? And does Roots or Teeth suck? Okay, so. IGN. Um, do we care about IGN? No. No. Shocker. I don't either. Um, the only point they get is their 7 out of 10 joke. Anyway, um, and does Rooster Teeth suck? Well, I can answer that with a very much yes and fuck them. Yeah, Rooster Teeth sucks. All right. Jim Kortoyopoulos, uh, again, sorry for the mispronunciation, asks... Any thoughts on the new Garfield trailer? This is for Grimm. And have you listened to any of the songs by Nine Lashes? Uh, Garfield movie trailer looks fine. Uh, hopefully they can pull it off. And uh, I have not listened to Nine Lashes. So, whoops. For Susan, any thoughts on DreamWorks' Troll Trilogy, favorite RPG game, and which is better, console or PC? Okay, uh, I know of Trolls. The Trolls thing, but I never really paid any attention to it. Favorite RPG game? Does Pokemon count as an RPG or? It is. Yeah, yeah. I'd say Pokemon. Um, and as for console or PC, probably PC because you can play a lot more games on there. Console does have its perks, especially if it's like a portable one. But in the end, you can do so much more on PC than you can on a console. So I'd say PC. Though I personally would love a better. I love a gaming PC of my own instead of a gaming laptop, but that's just me, but I'd say PC. Alright. For Emerald, favorite manga artist, first ever anime you watched, and favorite fighting game? Okay, favorite manga artist? While I am not a fan of his series for the most part, uh, I do love me some Hiromashima art, because when he draws a man, he draws a fucking man. So I'll give him that. Uh, first ever anime I watched, Dragon Ball Z. And favorite fighter game, Smash Bros. That was easy. All right. For both Susan and Emerald, what do you think of 12 Forever series? Favorite and least favorite gay slash lesbian character? Have you seen The Proud Family Ladder and Prouder? If so, any thoughts on it? And have you watched a cartoon from another country? Okay. Um, I have no idea on the first one. Um, second question. Hmm. I can't think of any, uh, I've never seen the prouder, the louder and prouder, proud family thing. And uh, cartoons from another country, I mean, anime kind of counts, right? It very Cause much anime, counts. Because anime is from Japan, so, but, yeah, I I watched anime from Japan, I even heard of anime, I even watched anime with Japanese dubs, with English subtitles, so I, I'd say, yes, I have. <laughs> I've watched Pokemon in, in that with JP dubbing in it with English subs, so that kind of counts. So I'd say that. As for me, uh, never heard of Twelve Forever. No, wait, I have briefly, but never bothered looking into it any further. Uh, favorite and least favorite gay slash lesbian character. Ooh, so my favorite gay character is Kurt from Glee. He's one of the reasons I came to terms with my own sexuality. Um, least favorite. Mm. Oh, uh, uh, I can't think of a least favorite off the top of my head. Which is strange because these two can confirm I talk a fuck ton about queer characters. Yep, so. yep, yep, yep. So the fact that I can't think of one off the top of my head is astounding, but 
It's okay. Um, have I seen the Proud Family reboot or revival? Yes, I have, unfortunately. At first, I was hyped about it. There's a lot about it that I really like. But then there's a lot of stuff about it that kind of pissed me off. So I stopped watching it after a while. It lost my interest quickly, which is a damn shame because there's a lot in it that is genuinely really good. And there's a lot in it that just, I don't know what the hell they were thinking with that revival. Everything was on the right track. And then there was just some stuff that I don't know what the fuck they were thinking. And have I watched a cartoon from another country? I could just easily say anime but i'm just gonna say code lyoko because that show is from another country i believe it's from france and i love that show and it also doesn't have jokes about locking out your kid for the night i wonder which one did that Ugh. it's okay you can say the proud family <laughs> yeah for both susan and grim most annoying girl in anime and favorite james bond film uh, most annoying girl in anime. Um, well, she had a role. She had an anime role, even though she's from a game. Probably Hiyoko Sionji from Danganronpa Two slash Danganronpa Three Despair. But that's just because I don't like her in general. And I haven't seen any James Bond films, so yeah. Okay. Uh, for me, it's a lot easier. It's that candy chick from uh, Danganronpa 3 Future Arc. She had... If I said that she had a personality, I'd be a fucking liar. Because her whole personality is that she is a bitch. Um, so I'm gonna go with that. And I haven't seen any James Bond films, so I can't really comment on that. But maybe one day. Emerald and Grimm. Least favorite Naruto season and any thoughts on the 1988 movie Akira? I have not watched Akira yet. I know, I know. Shocker. But no, I have not watched it. So, can't say anything on that. Um, least favorite Naruto season. Um, all of them goddamn filler arcs after the uh, after the uh, Naruto and Sasuke fight before Shippuden. Oh my god. So oh much filler. What were they thinking? Yeah. Uh, for me, least favorite Naruto season is the last season of part one. This would be around the time that they started to do a whole lot of the filler. I think this would be a little bit after the Naruto and Sausage fight. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to go with that. Um, Akira's 1988 movie. No, I haven't seen it. I've read the manga, but yeah, I haven't seen the um, alternate version effectively. One day. And for all three, what do you think of Voltron? We kind of already answered this, and I don't think Susan has seen it, so I can't really... So, not really much for there, either. Favorite THQ video games? Do you, do you hear that Charmex is back on YouTube? Have you seen the Nicholas Comptu video The Dream posted? And have you played Walking Dead Destinies? First off, I'm surprised Dream finally came up in the questions. And no, I have nothing to do with Dream. And I don't even know who the hell this Nicholas Cantu person is. So, favorite THQ video games? I haven't played any of their. I guess I haven't played any of their games. I guess because <laughs> okay, we'd have to look. We'd have to actively look that stuff up. So probably not. Um, have I? And well, never played Walking Dead anything. So, and Voltron was already asked. So there we go. For me, uh, I already answered Voltron, favorite THQ game, Red Faction, uh, Gorilla's game. Uh, did I hear Charmix is back? Yes, I did. Um, pity that they're only doing music now, but eh, I guess it's better than just being a generic reaction channel. Shame, though, because he was genuinely funny. Anyways, uh, Nicholas Contu, haven't seen, and I have not played Walking Dead Destinies. Commando Big Lady Officer asks, meet for Grim, meet her chicken, and favorite anime girl from Naruto. Uh, for me, Chicken, favorite anime girl from Naruto, probably, uh, I don't actually have one, I guess. Hinata is one, mainly her Boruto appearance, because, yeah, um, I don't know, she's just a lot cuter in that version. 
But yeah, I guess that. For Susan, favorite Zelda game, what do you like and didn't like about The Last Day of Rust, and which historical events do you think are talked about more? Okay, so, while I have not really played any Zelda games, well, I, I kind of played one, and that was Ocarina of Time, but I only got to the first boss. Um, but I like the Breath of the Wild um, series, as well as... Hyrule Warriors and recently with uh, Tears of the Kingdom. Those were some nice games. Um, I have no idea what the last day of rusting is about. Alright, Emerald. Did you watch The Walking Dead? Did you play Chrono Trigger and favorite 80s show? Hey, in order. No, no. Golden Girls. Both Susan and Emerald. Any thoughts on Ben Shapiro? We kind of already talked about that. Favorite anime from the '90s and worst things Alan, or worst thing Alex Jones did. Okay, I have no opinion on him. I favorite anime from the '90s, Pokemon, and I don't know about the Alex Jones thing either. So, okay, uh, fuck Ben Shapiro. I could just say that an entire video if I, if I really wanted to. Um, Dragon Ball Z, again. And um, I think making a conspiracy about kids dying in a shooting is pretty much peak Alex Jones nonsense. So fuck Alex Jones, too. For both Susan and Grimm, favorite 70s movie and favorite Sailor Moon character. Thank you. So I'm not... Do you have any 70s movies off the top of my head, honestly? Because I don't think I've really seen any. And I have not watched Sailor Moon. I know of it, but I've never seen it. I I can't really name a favorite, honestly. Granted, they're all pretty, but I can't name a favorite. And the kitties are cute, but I can't name a favorite. Okay. Uh, for me, uh, first Richard Donner Superman, even though it has some problems to it, um, I'll go with that. Favorite Sailor Moon character, three-way tie between Usagi, Mamoru, and Sailor, um, Sailor Uranus. Uh, for both Emerald and Grimm, what do you think of American Dad and underrated Yu-Gi-Oh character? Um, American Dad is an acquired taste. Some episodes are great. Other times it just kind of exists in its own little world. It's not the worst. It's definitely better than Family Guy in many respects. Uh, underrated Yu-Gi-Oh character. I'll just cheat and say Joey. Okay. Um, wasn't a big fan of American Dad. It never really caught my interest. Underrated Yu-Gi-Oh character, I would have said Jonachi slash Joey, but he's kind of earned his due as time has gone on. So I'm going to say Honda slash Tristan. And for all three, any thoughts on Steve Reviews? Did you see the Good Burger 2 trailer? What do you think of CCN? And any thoughts on Joe Rogan? I've never heard of Steve Reviews. And I have not seen the Good Burger 2 trailer. Not sure why they're making a sequel, but whatever. What the hell is CCN? Okay, I guess no one knows what that is. And uh, fuck Joe Rogan. Uh, you got anything, Susan, or no? Mm -mm. Okay, no problem. Uh, Steve Reviews exists. Like Some of his reviews are fine. Not really my cup of tea, though. I've heard of Good Burger 2, but I've not seen the trailer. It just looks like it exists. Uh, CCN, I have no idea. If you meant CNN, then fuck them, but I don't know if that's what you meant. Uh, and Joe Rogan, I liked him on Fear Factor, but his podcast just isn't for me. Black Nurse Witch UI asks, for all three, any thoughts on Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 remake? What do you think of the History Channel? Favorite underrated Marvel character? Did you watch Doctor Who? And what is the most annoying thing about Silent Hill 3? Um... I am not play Call of Duty. History Channel's a thing. I don't pay too much attention to Marvel. I know of Doctor Who, but I've not seen it. And I not played Silent Hill 3, so no opinion on that either. I'll make this easy. Don't care for Call of Duty. Um, History Channel, love you, but I do not watch you at all. Glad you exist. Um, 
Vision is my boy, underrated Marvel character. Uh, don't care for Doctor Who. And again, not into Silent Hill. Horror is not my thing. Fair enough. For me, I uh, haven't played Modern Warfare 3 Remake, just doesn't appeal to me. History Channel is we used to be fine, but nowadays it's just fucking stupid, but whatever. Uh, underrated Marvel character. Uh, I think most of them have kind of earned their due at this rate. I guess if you want me to pick one, probably... I, her name escapes me at the moment. Kamala Khan, I think, was her name? I'll go with Kamala Khan. Um, Doctor Who, I've seen a few episodes. Ninth Doctor, probably my favorite of them because... Christopher Eccleston is a fucking uh, Chad. There's a reason I used his or I used a knockoff voice impression of him for Zelta, but that's not the point. Um, but yeah, no, I've seen a few episodes. I need to get back to it eventually. Most annoying thing about Silent Hill 3, have not played Silent Hill 3 yet, so I will get back to you on that maybe eventually. Nico Safer one asks, did you play Metal Gear Collection for Switch, least favorite Silent Hill character, and did you hear about the Mr. Beast for Zania Pacino drama? Probably mispronounced that name. Haven't played Metal Gear Collection for Switch yet. I might play it eventually, but we'll see. Least favorite Silent Hill character, I think, is Eddie from the second game. Just fuck him. And it was honestly just funny that I just one-shot his first phase with the fucking big sword, but that's besides the point. Because the dude's just a fucking murderer. Like, frankly, he can get bent. I've heard about the whole Mr. Beast thing. It's just fucking insane. Jesus. For Susan, favorite fan-made Pokemon game, favorite Pokemon move, and least favorite Pokemon design. Okay, uh, Pokemon fan game. Um, oh, what was the one we were playing? Pokemon Xenoverse, was it? Xenoverse, yeah. Yeah, I see that one. I remember playing through that game. Good game. Really good game. Um, favorite Pokemon move, probably either Aura Sphere or Leaf Blade. And least favorite Pokemon design... Mmm. I guess Voltorb. Mm. Okay. Alright. Next up, Emerald. What do you think of the Q4 series? Any thoughts on Linlin? Lin, and what do you think of Legal Legal? Okay. Love Q Force. That's my boy. It's it's got some issues. If you'd like to know more, I have a whole video about it. Um Some people like it, some people don't. I hope. I'm a <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, for those of you who don't know where David and I have had a back and forth of liking and disliking the show, it's it's like I said, there are some who don't, there are some who do. I like it, despite its issues, and there are issues. It exists. Um, I, I recommend to everyone to watch it for themselves, to judge it on their own, instead of listening to everyone initially saying it's shit. So you can really form your opinion on, on it overall. Uh, any thoughts on Linlin? Lin? I've come to like their content a little bit. I'm not going to lie. They, they, And Legal Legal. Used to watch them. Uh, I think I stopped watching them right after the Depth versus Herd stuff was going on. After that, I kind of just uh, stopped watching them. Not out of, uh, oh, I hate them or anything, just kind of lost interest in their content, to be perfectly honest. Fair enough. We're all three. What do you think of Fox News and TED Talk? What do you think of Jack Swim's content? And did you hear the news about the Don Booth University? All right. So um, I think we can all just go fuck Fox News at this point. Um, TED Talks are cool. Uh, Jack's films. I have to be in the mood. He's funny, but he, I have to be in the mood for his content. And never heard of Don Bluth University. Okay. Uh, this isn't anything or. Nope. Okay. No problem. For me, Fox, fuck Fox News. TED Talks are meh. Jack's films sometimes works, but not really my cup of tea at points. And. Outside of hearing that Don Bluth University is a terrible place uh, to go to for animation knowledge, not really. Master Wolf Ganjik asks, did, for Grimm, did you ever play Fire Emblem, Path of Radiance, and Radiant Dawn, and did you read the Cyber Six comics and watch the cartoon? Haven't played Path of Radiance and Radiant Dawn. I've seen footage of it uh, from one of my friends. It looks alright, but eh, not really my thing. Maybe one day. 
I did not read the comics because they're in French and I don't speak French. I have seen the cartoon. I actually did a review of it and it's all right. For Susan, who is better, Harley Quinn or Catwoman or Poison Ivy? Did you read Asterix and favorite or least favorite Poke Girl? I've heard of these people. I don't properly know them well enough to give it a proper opinion on them. Are they all bad? Are they all villains or? More so anti-heroes, but yeah. Yeah, I, I can't really give an opinion on either three. I've heard of them, but I, I never really piqued any interest in them, so I can't give an opinion on. I I haven't read Asterix, whatever that is. And my hair release here, Poke Girl. I guess my hair, Poke Girl, is probably May. At least favorite. Mm. I have no idea. Okay. For Emerald, which EV evolution is better? Least favorite Kalos Pokemon, and do you think Silver the Hedgehog deserves better? Right, I don't really care for Silver the Hedgehog, so I um, don't really care for Sonic games in general. Um, Leafeon, and least favorite Kalos Pokemon. Hmm. Who do I dislike in Kalos the most? I don't know, because that's the one part of Pokemon that... Uh, that's the one part of X and Y that I think they did a decent job with. So, I don't think I have a least favorite. No, wait! Hold on! <laughs> I remember now. I'm sorry in advance for all of you Chespin lovers out there, but... Um, I'm sorry, I do not like Chestnut. I'm sorry, I just don't like them. Which is a shame because I love grass types, but that's the one time I felt they, uh, the, I felt Pokemon fumbled the bag with the grass type. Chespin's fine. Culloden exists. Chestnut, not a fan. Sorry, not sorry. Okay. And for all three, have you heard the news about the Zelda movie? And did you hear that Warner Brothers has scrapped the Coyote versus Acme movie? Could I say Coyote properly? God damn it. Anyways. Well, thankfully, that second question has aged poorly. And now that movie is being shopped around. So, you know, good for her. Um, Yes, I've heard about the Zelda movie. Uh, I just hope it's good. I just hope it's good. I hope that they take the time they did with the Super Mario Brothers movie and actually make and actually, you know, do it justice. Good. Uh, for me, uh, I've heard about it. I hope it's good. And uh, yeah, uh, they're shopping the Coyote movie around, but uh, still fuck Warner Brothers for even scrapping that in the first place. Oh, absolutely. I did hear about the Zelda movie becoming a thing. I'm interested. I hope it's good. Uh, I look forward to seeing where it goes, and hopefully, it'd be interesting to see what they do with it, honestly. Like, in what, like, Zelda universe they go into, like, what game they base it off of, or if it's, like, something different entirely. Curious. Okay. Robotodo asks, for Grim, worst Ben 10 moment, favorite Brock Pokemon, and did you play Laika Age Through Blood? Worst Ben 10 moment I can't think of off the top of my head just because I haven't seen this show in a very long time. Uh, favorite Brock Pokemon is Krogunk just because, like, Poison Frog. Like, of course I love the guy. Anyways, uh, Laika, no, but I will add that to the backlog. For Susan, did you watch Ruby, favorite monster and its design, and scariest moments from non-horror games? Okay, I know of Ruby because it is often talked about in our community chat. I might have watched the first episode back then, but that was probably the only episode I watched. And maybe it was for the best, honestly, considering how much of an opinion I have heard from most of the, my these two here, as well as others in my Why? community about Ruby in general. Uh, my favorite monster... If we're talking Monster Hunter... Uh, can't... The name is... It's like Mitsu... Something Mitsuzune. something. Yeah, Mitsuzune is probably my favorite. Because it's like a dragon with like a Sakura... Looking petals on its head. And it 
it also makes bubbles. I like that one. And scariest moments from non-horror games. I can't really think of any off the top of my head. Because I try to avoid anything that would give me jump scares. I mean, granted, I did play... Uh, so Hollow Stars Tempest released their first ever visual novel called Doppelganger. And while it's more of a visual novel, it does have some horror-related elements to it, such as torture, uh, cannibalism, and death. So, I'd say that, considering one of the scenes did have one of the characters, you know, perform cannibalism on the said reader of said visual novel. I'd say that. Spoiler alert. I'm not gonna name the characters, so I'll have you figure that out for yourselves if you want to get the game. But that's up to you. So, I'd say that. For Emerald, favorite classic monster, have you served in the army, and beef or chicken? Uh, tie between vampire and werewolf. No, I have not. I'm gonna have to say a tie between the two, but I guess I'll just say chicken. Okay. For both Susan and Emerald, favorite movie genre, unintentionally hilarious anime sublines, most hilarious joke gag from anime shonen, and favorite indie game in 2023. Uh, movie genres... I guess... Does animated count as a genre? Animation is a medium. So you'd have to pick, like, say, do you like comedic animated movies? Do you like serious ant or action? That's the thing, honestly. I can't think of any, honestly. Because it just depends on the movie itself. I never really pay attention to what genre it's from, honestly. Most of the ones I watch are animated. Um, although I have seen a few live action movies, I can't think of any of genres I like off the top of my head. Um, hilarious anime sublines, I can't think of any either. I don't know about any joke gags from anime shonen. An indie game, um, probably Our Life Beginning and Beginnings and Always. That's a great visual novel. That and Coffee Talk. They're both indies, right? Kind of, I yeah. I think they are. I'd say those two. Okay. Okay, favorite movie genre? Romance. But uh, the two folks in here already know how I feel about that genre. So we move. Um, hilarious anime subline? Don't have one. Most hilarious joke gag from an anime shonen? Can't think of one off the top of my head. Favorite indie game of 2023? I don't play a lot of indie games, so... I ain't got one. Well, now that I think about it, our life didn't come out this year. Oof. Both oh. Susan and Grimm, any thoughts on Luffy, anime, and live action, and have you played H. Doom? So I have not played H. Doom, but as for Luffy, I'm not seeing the live action one, but I... I think Luffy's a pretty cool character in, in the anime, I will admit that. I like him. He's cool. Definitely crazy, but he's cool. Okay. Um, Luffy anime, pretty good. Live action anime, or live action version, pretty good. Uh, H. Doom. No. I'll give you two seconds to figure out why for anyone else. Because it's a porn mod of Doom. No thank you. Not yet, not happening. Anyways. I didn't, even, I didn't even know what the fuck that was in the first place. So the fact that that's Same. what it was, I'm like, Same. well then. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I thought it was like HD Doom or something. No. Anyways. Uh, for both Emerald and Grimm, any thoughts on Dr. Robotnik from Sonic Boom and favorite fairy tale episodes from the first season? I've only watched clips of Sonic Boom. Uh, it's it's funny. Um, he's pretty cool in that iteration. That iteration of Robotnik's pretty cool. Uh, favorite fairy tale episode? The episode where this is from season one, where um, Elfman overcomes his fear of turning into the beast, 
that the big beast that he can change into and finally overcomes that in order to save his sister Mira Jane. Top tier moment. Elfman's my boy. Okay. Uh, for me, I don't have much of a thought on Robotnik from the Boom continuity just because it never really appealed to me. Uh, and uh, for season one of Fairy Tale, nothing really stood out to me because Fairy Tale has always just been a mediocre series, honestly. At least when it comes to me. And for all three, what do you think of movie recap channels? Any thoughts on the infographics show? Do you remember the Numa Numa song? Any thoughts on the original she -Ra? Did you hear that OpenAI fired and then rehired their CEO? And any thoughts on the Poke main cookie brand and her insulting her audience? Well, we've heard, I've heard Dream and Poke main in the same video now, so, you know, didn't think I'd have to hear about them. Uh, don't care for Poke main. Um, AI sucks, so any of that news is dead on arrival to me. Um, original She-Ra exists. A lot of y'all, a lot of y'all out there also knew that it suddenly existed once that reboot came out. Hey, yo. Heard of the Numa Numa song, infographic show, the what? And movie recap channels. There's a reason I stopped watching them a long time ago, because they're just recaps. Okay. For me, uh, movie recap channels exist. I don't have any thoughts on the infographics show. They also exist. I do remember Numa Numa. That was a good meme back in the day. Uh, original she -Ra, never saw it. Uh, did I hear about the open AI thing? Yeah, I did. It's dumb, and he should have stayed gone, but whatever. I, apparently part of the reason was because they couldn't operate without his ass, so it's like, yeah, smooth move, dickheads. Anyways, as for the Pokemon cookie brand, uh, yeah. Uh, fuck these cookies, they're useless, and they're overpriced. And that's for her insulting her audience. Oh yeah, brilliant fucking strategy! Insulting the audience they gave you your goddamn career in the first place! Anyways, um, Susan, do you have anything, or...? I will say the Numa Numa song I have heard of. And I will admit, it is very catchy to listen to. <laughs> but that's all I got. Gamer of Gamers asks, what's your favorite Halloween candy, and if you could go trick-or-treating one more time, what would be your costume? Candy Corn and Serena. Okay. All right. Dark Goofy from World War II asks, Her David, do you remember O Camper Camper song, and have you watched Bob the Builder? If so, how was it? Uh, O Camper Camper, no, first time I'm hearing of it, in all honesty. And as for Bob the Builder, I saw it when I was a kid. It was a thing. That's about it. I may write in a joke about TMP David showing his kid it, but I have no... Uh, the reboot, I mean, but... Eh, I don't know. Because it'd probably be ar out around that time, but that's a lore thing. That's not important to this question, sorry. Okay, for Susan, uh, Sakura... Sakuna. She's not Sukuna, guys. <laughs> Anyways, um... <clears throat> did you hear that Pixar's Brave was a disaster or underrated, and did you watch the Kill a Kill anime? So, I don't think I ever watched Brave, so I can't really give an opinion on it. And I've heard of Kill a Kill, but I've not seen the anime. And I don't think I want to, because I heard it's interesting. Okay. Uh, Emerald, did you watch a Goofy movie, and have you played any of the Far Cry games? Uh, love a Goofy movie. Love it. One of Disney's best. Glad it's getting its due. Um, never played any of the Far Cry games. I just know that they exist, and people like them. Just never personally cared for them. Okay. Both Susan and Emerald, did you play Fire Emblem in Advanced Wars? What do you think of the Little Nightmares trilogy? What do you think of Animat and favorite Popeye episode? Um... I've heard of Fire Emblem, but I've not played any of the games. Again, Little Nightmares was named earlier, I've not played it. I know of Animat because my little brother is a big fan of him. Oftentimes when my little brother does his his content, he often sometimes will sound like him. I hear it in his voice, like I compare him to Animat, I can hear it. It's like so similar. And I, I have watched some of his content, I will admit he, he's good. I, I like some of his content. And I have seen Popeye episodes in the past, but I can't name an episode, honestly, that I liked. It was a thing that existed when, I guess, it was early morning Cartoon Network or Boomerang that had it. It's a thing. Mm. 
All right. <clears throat> Rapid fire. Have not played Fire Emblem or Advance Wars. Um, again, about Little Nightmares. Never heard of it up until now. Um, I used to watch Animat. Kind of lost interest in him a long time ago. Don't really care much about him at this point. And I don't have a specific favorite Popeye episode. I do love Popeye, though. I love me some Popeye. All right. Both Susan and Grimm, favorite One Piece character and favorite Donald Duck episode. My favorite One Piece characters are Nami and Sabo and Robin. And I, I don't know. I haven't watched the Donald Duck series, so I can't give an answer on that one. For me, favorite One Piece character is probably... Okay, I'll go favorite male and female character then. Favorite female, Nami. Favorite male character... Technically, this counts. Uh, you can argue about it with me in the comments later, people. Uh, Yamato. And favorite Donald Duck episode? I don't have one because I never really saw... Uh, the straight episode or the straightforward episodes of Donald. It was usually just the stuff like the House of Mouse uh, stuff, which usually had all three of them. So I don't really have one. Uh, for both Emerald and Grimm, favorite Survivor episode and favorite Kevin Conroy performance. Um, the episode where Coach loses Batman. Okay. For me, uh, probably the last, the final episode of Winners at War, just because it felt like a nice uh, closure for a lot of things. If not, then it would be the episode of Island of the Idols where Dan rightfully got his ass fucking booted. And by that I mean removed by the staff because they should have removed his ass earlier and I will save that rant for when I review 39 eventually. Favorite Kevin Connor performance, similar to my good buddy here, uh, Batman. And for all three, who is worse, Brian or Quagmire from Family Guy? Favorite Steam Ham's fan-made videos and favorite Nostalgia Critic episode? I don't watch Nostalgia Critic anymore, but if I had to pick a favorite episode that I used to enjoy quite a bit, it had probably his uh, Animaniacs one. As I don't watch Steam Ham fan videos, at most, those just appear in YouTube poops. They exist. Um, Brian and Quagmire are both the fucking worst. So I think they're equal in how worse they, how bad they are, to be perfectly honest with you. Okay. Uh, for me, they both fucking suck, but if you want me to pick, I'm going to go with Brian is worse, just because he feels like the writer's um, barely disguised venting tool for a lot of bullshit at points, or just to be a really shitty joke. Um, Steamed Ham's fan-made. Those would probably be Steamed Ham, but insert thing here. As for Nostalgia Critic episode, probably the Ponyo video. It was nice seeing some cameos of that. Sexy Foxy Lady Commando 1235 asks, for David, favorite and least favorite Spider-Man design and hardest boss from Fallout. Uh, favorite design, probably the black suit was really fucking cool. Least favorite design, the Fantastic Four one, or the one with the paper bag over his head. That was just stupid. Hardest boss from Fallout, that would be the final boss of the second game. Because that shit was just so fucking bullshit. For Susan, favorite Dr. Robotnik meme. Which Pokemon do you know are good, but you've rarely used them? Favorite and least favorite are life, beginning, and always moments. And hardest boss from Pokemon Sun and Moon. Okay, so I don't have any Dr. Robotnik memes that I like. Um... Pokemon that I know that are good, but really use. I mean, legendaries, while they are good to use, I mean, granted, I maybe occasionally do have, like, the main legend game legendary on my team. Um, I guess maybe the, the dragons I don't really use as much. Like, the pseudo dragons, I don't really use them. I know they're good, but I don't really use them. Favorite are life beginnings and all these moments. It's kind of hard because I love the series. I love the game. So good. So many good moments. Um, Probably my favorite moments were the wedding scene. Spoiler alert, you can get married. Um, 
And any romantic moments that you share with Cove, least saver were moments with uh, Jeremy just because of how annoying he is. Um, hardest boss from Pokemon Sun and Moon. Um, um, probably the first time you battle Professor Kakui, I guess? That or when you have to go and face Tapu Koko like right after the ending of the game. Just because you don't have time to prepare to catch it, to catch it personally. I'd say those two. Okay. For Emerald, do you think Family Guy is a bad show? Have you played any of the Wario games? And what do you think of how it should have ended? Um, I personally do not like Family Guy anymore, but a lot of people apparently still love the show and think it's gotten better. That's on them. Don't care for it. They lost me a long time ago. Never played any of the Wario games. And I used to watch how it should have ended. Stopped caring after a while. I, I'm not going to say like their videos are bad. It's just I lost interest. Okay. For both Susan and Emerald, what do you think of Berg Productions? And have you seen Caroline? I think they meant Coraline. I have no opinion on the, the production thing, and I have not seen Coraline, so... Fucking love Coraline. Uh, it's one of the few times where a horror movie, it's not necessarily horror, but it's an animated horror movie of sorts. It's one of the few times horror really just... Wow. <laughs> Top tier stuff. Like, a, you will always be famous. Um... Do not care for board productions, so I'm not going to say anything about them. I know they exist, and I've seen them around. That's it. Okay. Both Susan and Grimm, favorite our life beginning and always moments character. I'm assuming they're just asking character. And uh, silliest moments from Minecraft. Okay, well, I guess my hair character is Cole, but of course he's the main love interest, so I'd say him. And silliest moments from Minecraft... Like, is it in general from Minecraft that I've seen, I guess? I guess, in this case, yeah. Because I've not played it personally. Although, one moment I can recall, and this was fairly recently, as I was talking earlier how Hollow Stars was doing a hardcore Minecraft run. Um, I guess, probably, there was a moment, the first of the stars to die was from Stars the End, and it was uh, Machina X Flan. He ended up dying to a bee by accident. And it was like 30 minutes into the hardcore event, so... Because the thing with this hardcore event, you only had like five hearts, and once you lose all five, you were done. You had to end your stream, raid somebody else. So Machina being the first to die was kind of uh, rough on the boys, because I would say that, and... There was a lot of silly shenanigans that happened during the second Minecraft collab with with the JP and Ian uh, members when they when Vanguard was introduced. But I'd say yeah, Machina dying to a bee during the hardcore of Minecraft collab was funny. Kind of sad, but funny. Because of course Machina would be the first to die, and it would be to a bee of all things. Bees, my God. Um, for me. Of course I'm gonna go with Cove. I fucking voiced him in the dub Susan and I did for the, for the stream series on our channel. We um, still need to finish it! Yes, I know. <laughs> um, <clears throat> and silliest moments for Minecraft, I don't really have one just because there's, I usually just play in creative mode just to create some fun things. Um, the Emerald and Grim one was basically looks to be a repeat of a previous question so i'm not going to repeat that and for all three did you see the odd ones out cartoon have you seen hassan minaj's video response okay minaj i think anyways any thoughts on thoughty 2 have you played spider-man 2 from marvel and have you seen hoots is harry potter bad hey the odd ones out cartoon exists love that for him never watching it I have heard of Hassan Minhaj's video response. I know what they're referring to. Don't care for it, but glad he got to defend himself. 
uh, don't know who Thought 2 is. Um, I do not have a PlayStation, so I do not play, so I cannot play the Spider-Man games. And don't know who Hoots is, but I agree with the title. Okay. Um, I haven't seen Odd One's cartoon. I have not seen his son video response. I've heard of Thoughty 2 now, and uh, they exist. Haven't played Spider-Man 2, and I have not seen the Harry Potter bad video. Uh, Susan? Nope. Okay. Sleepy Commentator asks, For Grimm, what do you think of Thanksgiving with historical events? Did you watch any Thanksgiving movies? Favorite animated DC movie? And did you watch The Daily Life of the Immortal King? If so, any thoughts? Um, I think Thanksgiving is a uh, kind of fucked up when you look at it from a historical perspective. I'll just say that. It's kind of fucky. Uh, even up here in Canada. But uh, we just treat it nowadays as just a, a meal. Like, just a special day for... Uh, turkey that's about it we don't really think of it but uh yeah if you look at it from a historical perspective it's kind of fucky uh did i watch any thanksgiving movies yeah i used i saw the charlie brown one like once and it existed uh favorite animated dc movie i will always always sing the praises of stuff like under the red hood and superman versus the elite as well as the dark knight uh, duology um and did i see daily life of the immortal king no i haven't for Susan, favorite Eevee moments, favorite Marvel heroine, and favorite cartoon from your childhood. Okay. Like, hey, what do you mean by favorite Eevee moments? Like, in general, or...? I think that's what they mean. I mean, it's an Eevee. It's cute. Can't really think of any, like, uh, highlighted moments, I guess. I guess maybe in Kalos there was an Eevee with a fl that liked wearing a flower crown? That was cute. Um, Marvel heroine? I don't know anyone from Marvel, honestly. In terms of heroines. Um, a favorite cartoon from my childhood? I mean, Pokemon. I guess. Granted, I did watch a lot of cartoons from, like, Nick Jr., Cartoon Network, PBS Kids, all those shows. I didn't really have a favorite, honestly. Okay. For Emerald, did you watch any movies from the 50s? Favorite Pokemon episode from Season 5, a.k.a. Master Quest? And least favorite character from Naruto? Favorite? Any movies from the 50s? The fuck? Um, I think Cinderella was made in the 50s, so I guess I'll just say that. Thanks, Disney. <laughs> um, what is it? What's Season 5? Uh, Master Quest, and yeah, you're, yeah, it was in 1950 for Cinderella. Oh, Master Quest. Um, I think I kind of canceled that one out of my brain. Not because it's bad, it's just... I stopped somewhere midway through Shoto and just started watching regularly again when Hoenn came around, so don't know. And least favorite character from Naruto, Tenten! Honorable mention to Sasuke. Yeah. Because sausage is a bitch. For both Susan and Emerald, did you watch Carmen San Diego? What do you think of Mickey Mouse 2013 and favorite SpongeBob episode from season seven? Um, I know Carmen San Diego was had a, a lot of TV series. It's a thing. I didn't really watch them. Uh, I don't have any opinion on the Mickey Mouse, and I have no idea of any SpongeBob episodes from season seven specifically that I can name off the top of my head. So, yeah, I'll agree on that last one. As for the other two, um, I've heard of Carmen San Diego. They they exist. Um, what do you think? Mickey Mouse twenty thirteen. Are they talking about those Mickey Mouse cartoons? I think so. Yeah. Those shorts. Yeah. Uh, they exist. I've seen them. They're cool. Both Susan and Grimm, cutest face of Pikachu, and is Mudkip overpowered? I mean, I guess Pikachu's just mimicking other Pokemon or humans. That's funny. And Mudkip overpowered, I mean, I know it's a meme. Do you like Mudkips? And considering my little brother likes Mudkips. It's cute. Mudkips are cute. It's a thing. I, can't, I don't know if they're really overpowered. I mean, I tried playing with Mudkip and Emerald once. 
and I didn't like it. It's a thing. <laughs> Fair enough. For me, uh, that would be the Mudkip face when it comes to Pikachu and Mudkip being overpowered. No. Now Axel Otto, aka Quagsire, that's a different story. <laughs> Anyways, for both Emerald and Grimm, did you see Justice League Crisis Trilogy trailer and snooping as usual, I see? No idea what that second question is. Eggman reference. Okay. Oh, right. I, okay, I understand. Well, I'm not answering it because I don't know exactly what they're asking in terms of that. Um, no, I have not seen the Crisis Trilogy. I'm assuming those are the animated films. From like when New 52 was a thing? Um, I think it's either that or the newly announced Crisis on Infinite Earths thing. Huh. Okay, well I haven't seen that either, so... There you go. Alrighty. Uh, for me, I if you're referring to the Infinite Earths thing, yeah, I've seen it. I'm avoiding it just because the character designer is a piece of shit. And also because it doesn't look... And even then the movie itself doesn't look interesting to me and uh uh sus that's my answer for the second question for all three what do you think of tony cry Knight? any thoughts on disney's wish and did you see doodle tones videos on veritas loved doodle's video on veritas very cathartic homeboy needs to chill um have not seen wish yet i'm debating if i'm going to see it a couple days from now just to, just to judge it for myself because I'm hearing so many mixed thoughts about it and I need and I need and I just want to go see a movie in the theater I don't have a lot of time off um don't know who Tony cry Knight is so can't can't respond to that okay. uh Tony cry Knight, they exist first time I'm hearing of this person frankly uh Disney's wish it exists it hasn't really caught my attention then again I'm also avoiding Disney so there we go and yeah I've seen Doodle Tones video a couple of times I have seen trailers for Disney's wish I mean it's a thing um because I, I know um I don't know if I want to watch it or not because I know both uh, it's both David and I we saw um we saw um Encanto together, so hmm. if we wanna if we wanna use it as another movie night thing maybe, but hmm. I mean it's interesting I guess, but hmm. I don't really have much of an opinion on it, honestly. It's a thing. Comment Omer Simpson asks, any thoughts on Gamergate and what do you think of thir Turkey for Thanksgiving? This is direct to me. Uh, Gamergate initially had a good purpose, then it went down the shitter really quickly. So there's that. And as for Turkey for Thanksgiving, it's fine. For Susan, favorite meme and favorite skillet and thousand foot crutch song. So I have no idea on the second one. Though I may have heard a skillet song before, but I can't remember off the top of my head. As for memes... I guess any kind of ones that that David here sometimes makes. I remember there was one where it was like Inteleon and Savo lay together, and he used like the Inteleon to be like Sean Chiplock and me being the Savo, just like oh Sean giving voice acting tips, and me just like ooh I like it. <laughs> uh, I know there was another one. Can't remember where. I don't remember if it was what anime it was from or if it was from Pokemon or not. But there's like one like a peeking over a rock scene that I think was like back when Han Beale was still around and it was like me and Pachi like peeking over the rock. And it, I thought that would be Pokemon, yeah. That was during yeah, the that... uh, Hisui special. Yeah, I I'd say that that was that one was a good one. I liked that one. Um, can't really think of any other memes that are that I like though. I just say like ones that you, I just say like memes that you can make out of make out of images from like Pokemon, I guess. Okay. For Emerald, favorite One Piece episode from season two, worst commentary you saw in the twenty twenties, and any thoughts on Boon Slayer? 
Huh. Okay. Well, I just well, still can't say much because again, I read the manga and I read the anime. I watched the anime, so just gonna skip that. Uh, worst commentary I've seen in the 2020s. Well, I can't think of one off the top of my head. And to be fair, I've watched a fewer commentaries as of late. So, who's to say? Uh, any thoughts on Boonslayer? I like his content from time to time. But he has this thing where he goes on for a little too long with some of the some of his commentaries. And while I do appreciate when he, you know, gets the, when he gets those little details, it just feels like sometimes it, it takes a minute for him to get to the point sometimes, in my opinion. It's why I kind of stopped watching him after a while. Plus, a lot of the commentaries he's posted lately are on topics that just don't interest me. So I kind of just started losing interest over time. I think I haven't watched any of his videos in a few months now because of that lack of interest. So for both Susan and Emerald, what program do you use on your videos? Worst anti-racism messages and cartoons? Favorite David Grimm commentary? And what do you think of Lyo Convoy? Okay, so when I record my clips and they do my streams, I use OBS. And then when I have to do any clip editing, like merging, I use just a basic clip editor that I, movie maker editor, I found for free on my uh, thing. I used to use Votor for my uh, thumbnails, but um, it started recently using a paying service, so I had to change that. I used to use Paint.net for my thumbnails if I want, if they're simple enough. Um, I don't know about the second. No opinion on the second question. No opinion on the fourth question. And for David Grimm commentaries, I mean, I guess the two that we did together. And the two co-op ones we did together, those were, those were my favorites. <laughs> okay, program I use on my videos. Um, well, I record my videos, uh, well, screen recorders when I'm making my show roomies, is I use Camtasia screen recorder. Um, if we're talking about what I do to make the videos themselves, I use Camtasia, the video editor, to help put all my stuff together. Uh, worst anti-racism messages in cartoons. Hmm. Hmm. Don't have one off the top of my head, so we're going to leave that alone. Uh, favorite David Grimm commentary. I haven't watched a lot of David's commentaries in a long while. It's been a minute. I don't even think they've done commentary in a hot minute, so... Can't think of one off the top of my head, so I'll just cheat and say the one that I collaborated on them with. That's the that's the one I come. That's the one I remember the best. Uh, and Lyle Convoy. Um, I only started watching Homeboy's content this year. Uh, good guy. Uh, I would hate to be the one that pisses him off. <laughs> that's all I gotta say. <laughs> 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 Every time, every time he get angry. Jesus. Both Susan and Grimm, any thoughts on Doodle Tones, and do you think Dora was annoying? I don't have any opinion on Doodle Tones, but I will say Dora the Explorer was annoying. It just, it, it gets old over time. I did watch Dora a lot when I was a kid, but yeah, she... Seeing it now, when you're older, I can see why she'd be so annoying. Okay. Uh... I like most of Doodle's content, so she's good. Uh, as for Doodle, or as for Dora, yeah, no, she was kind of annoying. For both Emerald and Grimm, any thoughts on the Act Man and favorite dragon? No idea who Act Man is. Um, favorite dragon. Oh God, there's different ones. I don't know. I just like dragons. Yay. Okay. For me, uh, not a fan of Ackman. I think he's fucking annoying at points. Um, and I already have to deal with my annoying ass, so that's enough of that. Anyways, uh, favorite dragon. 
closest I can think of is Agnologia from Fairy Tale, which is unfortunate because he has about as much complexity as a fucking piece of drywall. Oh, were we talking about dragons from fictional stuff? Yes, like... Well, that's not specific! Oh my god, I think they meant in general, dude. Well, at least you, you said a... You said a dragon from a... You just... You brought up Agnologia, and I'm like... Well, what dragon? I'm like, I thought we just met a dragon in general. I didn't know we were talking about one from a, from a fictional series. I think they were referring to in general. That's why I answered with Acnologia. Okay, well, I guess I'll say the same thing with Acnologia, because one of, one of the most hyped up villains ends up being one of the most disappointing at the end of the day. Like, wow, you spent a whole series to try, like, making him look like the big bad, him and Zareph, to be perfectly honest. And what do you do with him? Well, you turn him into whatever the hell you did in that final arc. For all three. Okay. Any thoughts on Screen Rant? Did you see Help, I'm a Fish movie? Any thoughts on XQC? What do you think of Optimus, the YouTuber commentator? Did you see the tweet about YouTube slowing down on Firefox? Did you see the trailer for Urkel Save Santa, the movie? And our worst commentator in 2023? And did you see the AVGN censored adult Atari episode? I've heard Pokimane, I've heard Dream, and now I'm hearing about AVGN. I'm having a good evening. Um, AVGN, don't care for that. Worst commentator in 2023. I'm just gonna go save Heritas because Jesus Christ. Have not seen that Urkel trailer, whatever it exists. Um, yes, I've heard about uh, YouTube intentionally slowing shit down because of ad blockers and whatnot. Uh, fuck YouTube for that. Um, I don't know who Optimus, the YouTube commentator, is. XQC, I've never heard of that. Or them, whoever that is, whatever they are. Help, I'm a fish movie. What? Okay, and Screen Rant. They exist? Fuck them. Anyway. For me, don't like Screen Rant. Haven't seen the movie. I don't like XQC. He's one of the worst reactors outside of Sniper Wolf. Uh, Optimus. I don't have an opinion of them. Did I see the tweet? No, I haven't, but I wouldn't be surprised. Haven't seen the trailer for Urkel Safe Santa, because I was never a fan of Urkel as a character. Uh, worst commentator in 2023, Veritas. And did I see the uh, AVG and the Censored episode? Yeah, I did. I never liked his Atari porn episode, even back then. And watching it now, I also don't like it because you can only make the joke about sex so many fucking times before it gets tiresome, and it already got tiresome. He made a whole episode about Atari porn. The fuck? Kiljin asks, uh, for David, least favorite Persona 4 boss, underrated Persona 4 character, and which shook you the most in Persona 4? Alright. Least favorite Persona 4 boss... Uh, that would be the battle against the eye. This would be after you defeat the shit out of Adachi. Such a fucking letdown. Underrated Persona 4 character. Probably Rize because she gets, tends to get a lot of shit. What shook me the most in Persona 4? That would be Nanako's death for all the five seconds before they undid it because fuck keeping things straight. What the fuck? Anyways. Uh, for Suze, why do people keep saying Sakuna? You're not, she's not a Jujutsu Kaisen character, guys. <laughs> Anyways, <clears throat> for Susan, favorite and least favorite PokeTubers, favorite Wonder Woman design, and why? Um, so I don't really keep up with PokeTubers nowadays. I mean, I used to watch A Drive a lot when he did Pokemon content, and I used to be a fan of Tamashi back then before things changed. Um,. There's a countdown artist I like. I think his name's the Aura Guardian, I think. He has Lucario as like his one of his uh mascots. Um, I don't really have any least favorites now. And one in terms of Wonder Woman designs, I've only I saw in a live action Wonder Movie Wonder Woman movie in theaters and I see her design is probably my favorite. I don't have a because, I mean, because that was my first time watching a Wonder Woman movie in theaters, and it was live-action, too, and I actually liked it. Oh, so I'd say that. 
Okay. For Emeralds, what are your thoughts on the newest Team Man series, favorite Powerpuff Girls episode, and favorite movies from the 40s? Okay, so... Um, have not bothered watching the new He-Man series. Um, for as lovely as all the fellows in that look, I'm not interested in He-Man. Uh, favorite Pop of Girls episode. The Beatles-inspired episode where him, Princess, uh, Mojo, and Fuzzy all, uh, were, uh, came together as a group and they were, and it was basically just a full-on parody of the rise of the Beatles. It was, it was great. I loved it. Favorite movie from the forties. Don't know. I'm sure a movie. I'm sure I could think of a movie in the forties from Disney. I can't think of one off the top of my head. So I'm going to leave it alone. Both Susan and Emerald. Did you watch Power Rangers? Did you play any of the Telltale games? What do you think of Clay Claymore? And do you think that Prager you is a joke? I have seen Power Rangers a little bit. I used to watch Dino Thunder back in the day. Um, I didn't watch the whole series. Uh, I did not play any Telltale games, although I have seen Walkers of the Walking Dead once. Um, I don't know who Clay Claymore is. I assume it's a person or a thing. And I have no idea about the fourth option, so... Okay. All right. From bottom to top. Fuck Prager you. I know of Clay Claymore. Don't care for them. Never played the Telltale games. And I was there when Mighty Morphin was first dropping as a when I was a little when I was a little boy. And I stopped watching right after Dino Thunder. So okay, I do remember seeing SPD, but I think I officially stopped at Dino Thunder. Um yeah, there you go. For both Susan and Grimm, which fake death annoyed you guys the most and favorite Simpsons character? I see Hina's death, quote unquote, death from Duncan Ropa 3. Because I thought that was real and I was actually crying my eyes out when it happened. Only to find out next episode that it wasn't, that it was fake. Why must that play? I like Dog and Robots, one of my favorite series, but why did they have to play with my emotions like that? Especially with one of my favorite characters. I hated that so much. Well, at least your kid's alive. Oh, wait. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> but that was a fan made one, and that series was cancelled. Yeah. And, and the Simpsons character, I guess Maggie, because she's cute. Okay. Uh, which fake death annoyed me the most? Um. <laughs> well, I have a list. I could. Er, fuck it, I'm gonna do the bit. You want a list? Because I have a list. 15 years in the making. Anyways, <laughs> bring that hey, back. We we love we love a meme that continues to age. <laughs> Gracefully. Yes. Okay, so I got Makara from Fairy Tale because he's died way too many fucking times and then brought back because that was bullshit. Um, Baku goes twice because that was a fake out um, both times. I will deal with that when I review the final arc eventually. Um, the fuck was another one? Uh, I guess Tanjiro technically counts, but details. I'll go with Bakugo from My Hero because that was just annoying as fuck. And Simpsons character, I don't have one because I'm not a fan of The Simpsons. Emerald and Grimm, what do you prefer, 2D or 3D animation? And any thoughts on George Carlin? I don't have much of an opinion on George Carlin. I um, heard he's a decent fella. We move on. Um, okay, this is tricky. I like both. Um, but I'm more of a 2D guy. But as of late, I like how um, people have been integrating 2D and 3D, um, and how they've used different styles to make to make it more stylized. A perfect example of this is um, Spider Verse, which utilizes both 2D and 3D at the same time. And because of Spider Verse, a lot of a lot more movies have gone in this direction, a la Puss in Boots 2 and the recent TMNT film, and uh, to some extent, the uh, Mitchells versus the Machines. So I like them both, 
I'm more of a 2D person. I grew up with all that. 3D has its place, and it it's gotten a lot better, infinitely better over the years. Still got a ways to go in certain regards, but I'll always be a 2D person. And if they want to keep utilizing the same methods for the way they've done Spider Verse and all the movies of um, most of the anime movies this year, that'd be fantastic. It'd be nice if Disney went back to 2D. I'm not gonna lie. For me, <laughs> um, I'm gonna I'll say this: um, 2D animation. There are some good examples of 3D. Most of them you're not going to see from Japan because they don't know how to do CG properly, except for Beasters. Um, maybe one day they'll finally get a movie that looks about as good as the Shrek movie. It's certainly not going to be from shit like Dragon Ball Super Superhero. Anyways, um, I'll go with 2D. And then as for George Carlin, yeah, dude was genuinely funny. He was kind of stupid. He kind of did some stupid things, though. I'll say that much. Uh, for all three, did you watch a Fox in Space? Who is worst creep show order, Illuminati, and favorite Christopher Lee performance? I don't have a favorite Christopher Lee performance. Miss the guy though. Um, who is worse? I don't care for either of these two, so I don't. So I don't have an opinion. I just know they're both bad to some extent, and I've never heard of a Fox in Space until now. Okay. Um, for me, haven't heard of Fox. Oh, wait, no. I did recall some bits of a Fox in Space. I think that's the Star Fox animation. That was neat. Saw some bits of it. Haven't seen all of it, but yeah, it was neat. Uh, Illuminati, just because this one was a business of errors and so much shit. It's just a mess. And favorite Christopher Lee performance, Count Dooku. Uh, there's a reason I based uh, Luxurious performance off him. Atreus Lecoq, hopefully I didn't butcher that, asks, Favorite Danganronpa character, and do you think Pokemon is declining? Uh, favorite Danganronpa character, they're, my favorite is all across the series. I can't pick just one for the whole thing. So, one is probably Byakuya, two is Chiaki, three is, sorry, three is uh, nobody, because fuck Danganronpa 3, but V3, probably Kokichi slash um, Maki. Uh, do I think Pokemon is declining? No, I just... Well, mostly not declining. There are some steps, I'll admit, but then again, that's a lot of franchises. Um, they should never do two mainstream releases in one year ever again, as we saw with l last year with Scarlet and Violet and Pokemon Legends Argonauts. Um, but no, I don't think it's declining. I just think they just need to sort shit out. Uh, for Susan, do you think Pokemon GX Gale of Darkness is underrated? Favorite Hamtaro character? And what do you think of the Amazing Digital Circus? A case... Oh, I think Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness is underrated because it is a good game. It really is. I just wish it had more love because I know it was really only released in the GameCube and it had a, the unique element of catching Shadow Pokemon. Um, so I'd say, yeah, it's underrated. I hope it gets a port to the Switch at some point. If that ever happens. Uh, here I have Taro characters. Probably a tie between Bijou and Penelope. And I have heard of the Amazing Digital Circus because I know some of the Ian Hallstars boys have talked about it, but I've never seen it personally. So, yeah. Highly recommend it. It's alright. Oh, and speaking of series, for Emerald, how did you come up with your series, Roomies? Which Pokemon games have you played? Did you see Digimon, and have you played any of the Metal Gear Solid games? All right, because I know this is going to be a loaded answer. I'm just going to answer the other questions first. Um, never played any of the Metal Gear Solid games. I've, I've watched Digimon. I've watched up until Data Squad. Um... Uh, Pokemon games have I played uh, so I started playing when Gen 3 came out so I played Sapphire that was my first one and I played Emerald and anything after that I played outside of Black and White 2 uh, and well okay I'm, technically I did play the Ultra games but I barely played them after when I realized um, they sucked so we'll count them for now I've played most of the games on the GameCube and the Wii. Yeah, I've played them all. I've played them all at least once. I've played every game ever since Gen 3. 
I did eventually play Fire Red. No, it was Leaf Green. It was Leaf Green. And yeah, I'm still playing it to this day. Um, that reminds me, I should probably finish beating Violet before I buy the DLC. Yeah, you think? Anyway. <laughs> Listen, I'm a busy man. <laughs> anyway. Fair enough. <laughs> and I procrastinate. Y'all know this. Yeah, no, you're right. Anyway. And then how did I come up with the series roomies? Okay. I'm going to keep this short and to the point because I'm probably going to explain this on my own channel anyway. Um, So, I'm a romance guy. I love making romance shows, especially queer romance. I wanted to make roomies because I wanted to feel more seen as a queer black man. And I decided I was going to do that my damn self by making this show. This show has been in production for four fucking years. And it finally came out this past year. And I'm super happy about it because, well, people seem to really like it. There may even be a voice a voice actor in here. Um, but yeah, I came up with the series. It was inspired by my need to have uh, more of myself on screen and just... More romance with characters that, if we're going to be honest, um, don't end up breaking up for some of the stupidest reasons. I get it. Breakups happen. Don't I know it. But, like, they can... Sometimes you can just... Couples can sort things out before reaching that point. You can... Those exist. And we don't get to see a lot of media where the couples are, you know, together and they sort their shit out. So I wanted roomies to be that thing. And... Yeah, that, that, that I've already explained this in my podcast, but, you know, the character, the two main characters, they I, I don't plan on breaking them up. And yeah, that's as much as I'm going to say. If you want to know more, uh, you know, go, go to the channel and watch the show. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right. For both Emerald and Susan, what do you guys think of Meta 527 the second and which anime cliches should they stop using altogether? So... I know of him. I have no opinion of him. He's a thing. <laughs> and, and anime cliches. Can't think of any. Honestly, again, it's been a long time since I really sat down and watched any anime, so. Yeah. Oh, me. Um, don't really have an opinion on Meta. He exists. Um, this is going to sound so hypocritical of me, and I'm okay when I say it, but we definitely need to retire or at least cut down on fan service. I know what you're thinking. But Emerald, you have fan service in your own damn show. I know. I know. The difference is, it doesn't overtake the damn plot. There's great fan service, and then there's the fan service that is just so blatant. What plot? What is plot? That's what it feels like sometimes. Cut down on it. I wouldn't say completely retire it. Please don't. Men are hot. But, like, there has to be a limit. You, There has to be a limit. And not every series needs it. That's another thing. So if you're going to have it, have it with a reason. And don't put too much of it in there. Okay. And for all three, which games do you think desperately need a remake or remaster? Have you watched the live action One Piece movie? I think they mean show. And what do you guys think of psych to go I guess I'll go first. Uh, honestly, none. Just port the fucking games over. And for that, I'm going to go with the Sly Trilogy because I'm too lazy to look for uh, the PS2 games at the moment. I'll just go with that off the top of my head. So um, that, have I seen One Piece live action? First episode I've seen, pretty good. And Psych2Go exists. I'm going to agree on that one. Psych2Go exists. Not planning on watching the live action One Piece show. Glad it's good for many folks. And... Uh, as much as I know it's already been remade, I'd like for them to go back to the drawing board and give us that Gen 3 remake again. And Gen 4. Oh, there is always Solar Platinum. No, I'm just kidding. Um, God damn it. I want them to see 
remakes or remasters of the Pokemon Ranger series? Because the first Pokemon Ranger game, I will say, is terrible. The game mechanics in that game are awful. Um, and I, I would love to see, like, a part three, like, a continuation of sorts to the Shadow Pokemon stuff. Like, XD or in Coliseum. I want to see, like, a continuation of that somewhere else. I would love to see something like that. Um... And the live action of One Piece, I mean, it's a thing. I maybe one day I'll see it if I feel like it. That's all I've got. Okay. SSJ Sora asks for Grim, what are your thoughts on Lunas Turn of Zack and why Ash never went back to any of the reasons he visited and take parts in the Pokemon League again and won? Uh Lumios Trainer Zack exists. I'm not really much of a fan of their uh <sighs> It's their rewrite for Sword and Shield. Not a big fan of it. As for why he never went back to any of the regions, uh, maybe he just didn't care at this point. Or maybe he's doing that in the uh, off-screen shenanigans uh, after the uh, final series before uh, we got Horizons. For Susan, most annoying puzzle from Pokemon Generation 1, have you played Metroid, and favorite My Little Pony Friendship is Magic character? Uh, Gen 1 puzzle, probably Sabrina's, the War panels. That was the war panels, right? In Sabrina's gym. Yes. Yeah, I'd say those. Uh, I swear, David tried to get me to play Metroid once. I think it might have been, or at least I showed you uh, Super Metroid. Yeah, but I never played it. And my hair, my little pony character, tied between Twilight Sparkle and Fluttershy. Okay. For Emerald, their Pokemon Gen 1 are stupid. Favorite comedy show, and is Alvin from Alvin and the Chipmunks awful? Hmm. Uh. Okay, well, um, I was never a fan of Alvin. Was always more of a Simon fan with a dash of Theodore. So, I guess I'll say yes to that. Uh, favorite comedy show? I guess just in general. We'll just say in general, I guess. Uh, Abbott Elementary. Highly recommend that show. Everyone should watch that show. It's very good. Can't wait for it to come back next year. Uh, our Pokemon Gen 1 are stupid. Uh, you know? No, I'm going to be nice and just not comment on that. Because I could be here all day to talk about that. All right. Both Susan and Emerald, have you seen all real monsters? Any thoughts on Turkey Tom? And what do you think of Big Mouth? I know of all real monsters because that was a thing on Nickelodeon, but I never watched it. And I have no other thoughts on Turkey Tom or Big Mouth, so. Oh, I got all it. real monsters is underrated and should be seen more. I mean, it needs it needs more love. Um. Uh, fuck Turkey Tom. Um, and uh, fuck Big Mouth. <laughs> and for all three, any thoughts on Dark Side Phil? Have you seen F is for Family? Have you seen Netflix's Blue Eye Samurai? Have you seen Fresh Cut Slim's video that he is Charmex? And have you seen just Dis yeah, Disenchantment? Enchantment exists. Dark Side Phil exists. F is for Family. I've heard about that actually. I think people do like that show. Um, Blue Eye Samurai, I don't have Netflix, so I don't have Netflix anymore. Um, because similar to David's protest towards Disney, I'm protesting to Netflix. They can fuck off. And don't know who don't know about this fresh cut slim thing. Uh don't really care. Okay. For me, uh not a fan of Dark Side Phil, haven't seen F is for Family, haven't seen Blue Eye Samurai. Like I said, I'm aware of Fresh Cut Slim being Charmex and that he's dedicated to music, which fair enough. Um, and I have not seen Disenchantment. Uh, sweetie, do you have any or? Nope. Okay. Playgirl AHJ asks for Grim, favorite and least favorite Donald Duck cartoon. Kind of already answered that. And favorite moments on Gundam. Uh, favorite moment would probably be the final fight of Seed with Kira versus the Car knockoff Kara Char. 
knockoff. I cannot pronounce the name properly, my bad. Outside of that, not really. One day, though. For Susan, most annoying thing about Pokemon Gen 1, favorite Sonic the Hedgehog character, and did you see My Little Pony, which I think kind of already answered. I just answered favorite character for that one. Oh, okay. Um, most annoying thing about Gen 1, so... So I didn't exactly grow up with the Gen 1 games. I grew up with Leaf Green, but I did get yellow at one point because I traded my Sapphire copy to someone who had Pokemon Yellow. Yeah, I know. Shocking. But, um... Um... Uh, least favorite thing... Probably... Going through the Silphco building. Because that was just a maze of warp puzzles in and of itself. Um... Favorite song of the Hedgehog character? Probably between Amy and Cream. And... I have seen My Little Pony a little bit, but this is because my sister's a big. My sister likes watching the show, so I know of it. And I've also seen a fan made, fan made Phoenix. Or, there have been a fan made series of My Little Pony slash Phoenix, My Little Pony Phoenix, right? Uh, uh, special uh episodes slash movies that they made that people have made. Pretty good stuff, I will say. Um. So, yeah, that's my experience with it, honestly. Yep. Emerald, favorite and least favorite Sonic the Hedgehog characters. You kind of already answered that, though, so... Any thoughts on Sonic the Hedgehog cartoons, favorite reviewers, and favorite Goofy cartoon? So when they say Goofy, I'm assuming the character. Yes. Um, okay, so I'm just gonna cheat and say both a Goofy movie and an extremely Goofy movie. The latter thing with the latter deserving more love. Um, favorite reviewers. Oh, I don't know. I watch so many reviewers, and then those reviewers are all so video essays. Uh you know what? I'm gonna say uh Andre the Black Nerd. He's pretty he's pretty cool. I love his stuff. I every time I watch his videos, I just get such joy watching him enjoy shit it's 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 a feeling i just i, I love because when he's excited i'm excited he's one of the reasons i was extra excited for the super mario brothers movie because he was hyped up about it too um uh, sonic hedgehog cartoons then hmm okay so which cartoons i thought i've seen sonic x and i've seen parts of sonic boom those are the only ones I've ever seen. And both of those were... I... They exist. And as favorite and least favorite Sonic the Hedgehog characters... Uh, I had a, a, well, my favorite one has always been Knuckles. Because, you know, I played the games and I love Knuckles. Least favorite? I don't have a least favorite. I, I don't play the games enough to have a least favorite, to be perfectly honest. Okay. Uh, Susan and Emerald, did you see Thundercats? Any thoughts on Antunes and his Mahler a terrible reviewer? Um, I have not seen Thundercats. No thoughts on the tunes, and I don't know about the reviewer guys, so. Okay, I love it when they're easy. Uh, a fuck Mahler. Um, and don't care for Antunes, fuck them too. And are they just talking about Thundercats in general or a specific? Just in general, I think. Series? Um, okay. Yeah, I, I've seen the 2011 series and I've seen Roar. I have not, I've seen the original. My, um, my mom was obsessed with the original. She, she still quotes it to this day. So I didn't personally care for it, but she did. So it was a thing that I, somewhat grew up with so i don't mind thundercats okay uh for both susan and grim favorite pixar film and did you play hades uh pixar films gosh it's been a while since i've seen pixar films um i'll go with uh, toy story 2 that's Very the thing good choice that's the thing. I've seen Toy Stories too so many times growing up. I know, like the back of my hand. How don't we all? 
can't really name a favorite, honestly, because I just had grown to the point where I've seen so many Pixar movies growing up. I just can't, I can't name a favorite, honestly. That's just worth replay value because I have seen it so many times because of like whenever we would go on road trips, there was usually most of the time be Pixar movies on our portable DVD players. So I can't really name a favorite one, honestly. Um, and as, and, uh, as for Hades, I have heard of Hades and I've seen people play it. It's interesting. I like the concept. I just don't have any interest in playing it. I know Hades 2 is a thing that's going to be coming out, or is, has it come out yet, or is it planning to come out yet, or? It's entering early access next year. Okay. It's a thing. It looks interesting, but I don't have any interest playing it. Okay. For me, I have played Hades, and it was a good time. Roth Emerald and Grimm, have you seen the Resident Evil movies, and have you ever seen Nazo Unleashed from Sonic? Neither of these I can properly respond to, so you can go for it. Haven't seen the Resident Evil movies. Of course I've seen Nozzle Unleashed. I fucking loved that shit back in the day. For all three, have you heard about YouTube trying to take down ad blockers? Did you see H3H3 with Pokemon insulting Bo Blacks? What do you think of Taco Bell? And did you see Nerdotic's video on Blue Beetle? I don't know who Nerdotic is. Um, I haven't been to Taco Bell in years. So I don't know about them too much. Um... I haven't seen H3H3 in a hot minute, so I really don't care about whatever Ethan and company are doing over there. And fuck YouTube for the whole ad blocker bullshit. For me, I'll shotgun these. Heard of it, not a fan. Did I see H3H3's Pokemon thing? No. Don't like Taco Bell, and I haven't seen Nerdotic's video on Blue Beetle. I'll only say one thing that's regarding Taco Bell. I'm not- this is gonna sound like- as much as I pass- Taco Bell's just been- I have some weird history with Taco Bell, because I've been interviewed at Taco Bell at least five or six times, and I had never gone except, like, hired. And my family never really took us to Taco Bell, because one, we weren't really big taco eaters, and two, my mother always said Taco Bell was always bad with food poisoning, with getting risk of like food poisoning or something, or some some BS. But yeah. Okay. Captain Flamingo fan asks for David. Any thoughts on the Yoshi games and underrated Ruby character? Any thoughts on Yoshi games? I think most of them are fine. Not really my cup of tea though, but a lot of them are cute. Underrated, probably Penny, but then again, uh, that's a whole other story with her treatment. That's a Anyways, it still it still hurts. Mm -hmm. Susan, is Hello Boss a good cartoon? Did you see Winx Club? If so, how was it? And have you played Pizza Tower? So I have not seen Hello Boss. I know I Winx Club because my sister watches it. But I never watched it myself. And I've heard of Pizza Tower. That's just because Hollow Stars member Haka has played it, but I have no interest in playing it, so. Question for Emerald. Favorite Simpsons character, favorite Power Ranger season, and what inspired you to make YouTube videos? Hey, um, favorite Simpsons character. Hmm. Huh. Mr. Burns. I like Mr. Burns. Uh, favorite Power Ranger season. Uh, which one was a shit, 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 uh, Wild Force. And what inspired me to make YouTube videos? When I first saw the platform, it uh, ignited my inspiration, my my drive to make shows, because people, because I can finally bring them to life. I've always been an entertainer. I love entertaining people, and I love television. And YouTube allowed me to do that, and through trial and many fucking errors, I eventually made my own stuff uh, that is decent. And to this day, I'm very proud that I uh, kept going with my stuff. Okay. 
Both Emerald and Susan, any thoughts on Stone Toss comics? Did you think anyone who played Hogwarts Legacy deserved to be harassed and doxxed? And what do you think of J.R.R. Tolkien as a writer? Um, so no thoughts on the first one. No thoughts on the third one. I know the Hogwarts Legacy thing has been very controversial just because, you know, stuff. And... Well, I personally don't have any interest in playing it, even though it's a Harry Potter game. There was a, a Hollow Star GP member, Astel Letta, who was, like, partially harassed for playing it. But he still enjoyed the game nonetheless. So, I... I... I don't think people deserve to be harassed and dogs because... At the end of the day... You can choose to support your favorite series despite how uh, the author's opinions, because it's the series that you should be happy about, not the author who made it, honestly. But that's just me, honestly. Because you shouldn't really have any right to dox somebody or harass people just for playing a game that they want to play. That's just me, though. It's Harry Potter is a big franchise that people really like. Despite like the auth despite the author of the series having being very controversial and stuff. But that's just me. Also, I am a proud Hufflepuff. <laughs> well, I'm of a different opinion on that. Um I do believe separating art from the artist is great when it comes to a certain author. But um I can't do that with her, that's why I stopped caring about Harry Potter. In fairness, I stopped caring about Harry Potter the minute Deathly Hallows came to an end in theaters. But um, anyway, on the subject of Hogwarts Legacy, uh, no one deserved to be harassed and doxxed over a fucking video game. Do I think we should have been? Do I think we should have been playing Hogwarts Legacy? Fuck no. But if anyone's gonna play it, fine. Do I think anyone needs to be doxxed or harassed over it? No! But, I also believe that if you're choosing to play it, you're taking away your, your belief that you support the uh, trans folks based on the author being, uh, the author of the series being the fucking worst. Okay? So all I'm gonna leave this, all I'm gonna say on that. Don't read my, I have not read any of Tolkien's stuff, and finally stone toss comics never heard of those up until now no wait i've heard of the name sounds familiar but i never i don't think i've heard of any of their series what are stone toss comics stone toss is notorious for anti-trans and anti-lgbt shit oh well fuck them then there you go all right uh both Emerald and Grim, underrated Spongebob episode, and the most ridiculous moment from Yu-Gi-Oh's first season. Mm hmm So, yeah. Most ridiculous moment from the first season. Uh, uh, I don't have a ridiculous moment to say, so I'm leaving it alone. Uh, underrated Spongebob episode. I don't really have an underrated episode. Because most of the episodes that I like are pretty much top tier. And I haven't watched Spongebob in a long while. I don't know what season they're even at at this point. I have stopped watching. <laughs> okay. For me, I don't really have an underrated episode because I think all the episodes have been rated just fine. Oh, especially over the years, as for most ridiculous moment, that would be Yugi fusing Mammoth Graveyard with the Blue Eyes Fuck You Dragon. Or sorry, the Blue Eyes Majin Dragon. Or sorry, Ultimate Dragon. Um, that shit's ridiculous, but that's been made fun of so many times at this point. For all three, any thoughts on Xander Xander Hall and what do you all think of Pokemon? Don't care for Pokemon, fuck Xander Hall. Don't like Pokemon. No opinion either. Oh, don't. Sorry. No, I was just gonna say it's all good. No, I was just gonna say I don't like either of them either. So, Darth Death Killer O Nine asks, "Did you see AVGN beating Jekyll and Hyde? Favorite energy drink? This is directed to me. Yeah, I did see it. Pretty good shit. Favorite energy drink? Don't have one. 
Question for Susan. Favorite Don Bluth movie? Did you play Final Fantasy? Have you seen the Chainsaw Man anime? And least favorite gym leader from the old Pokemon games? Okay. Uh, I've not seen... No opinion on the first. Uh, I know of Final Fantasy, but I've never played any of the games. I know of Chainsaw Man. Never seen it. Um, least favorite gym leader from the old games... Probably Winona or Brawly from Gen 3. But that's just me, just because I kind of struggled with them when I was playing. See, I, I, like... can, under I can understand Winona, but Brawly? Well, is it just me? Because young me thought Brawly was too strong with his Makuhita, so... Because I fair. was the one that always used my Grovile, so... No, no, I get it. I did the same I thing. Just, I, did, I, just, I did the same thing. Like, I just skipped, would skip him and just, like, get stronger first and then go back and battle him. Me with Watson. Like, I didn't struggle with Watson too much, honestly. It was honestly. Winona and Brawly that were always giving me hard times. Yeah, you're the lucky one. <laughs> well, actually, Flannery also did give me hard times, too. I will admit. Especially remember during my Emerald Nuzlocke. How I knew how my tentacle that I had was both paralyzed and had attracted had a track status on it from her torical, and it still was able to beat it, which that was a miracle, honestly. Okay. Questions for Emerald: Did you play Mortal Kombat? Cats or dogs? Favorite Sonic songs? Best Mario boss and favorite Mario music? Never played Mortal Kombat. Might consider it at some point. Dogs for the win. They're so adorable, especially Dalmatians. Favorite Sonic songs? I'm just gonna be uh, basic and say Super Sonic Racing, whatever the hell that song's called. Best Mario boss. Hmm. Can we just pick from any game? Um, I guess I'll go with the. Uh, uh, what's his face? Um. It's the one from 64, the tall gray statue guy. His name is escaping me. The Womp? Yeah, 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 him. I'll go with him. That was a fun boss. And favorite Mario music? Literally anything from Wonder because, my god, that's an out track. Okay. Questions for both Emerald and Susan. What do you think of Bluey, and did you hear about Roblox, Roblox planning to make a dating app? I know Bluey because it's a thing. And the dating app thing? Stupid idea, considering kids play Roblox a lot. Bad idea there. Very yeah, bad no, idea. The, yeah, no. What? What? This is, this is news to me. What the fuck? What is, why is Roblox making a dating app? What the fuck? This has been a thing for about a month. Okay, but yeah, no, they were trying to make it to I like. I don't keep tabs on Roblox. Okay, I got time for that. Fair <laughs> enough. Like even it was like talked about heavily on X. Oh well, that explains it. I don't visit. The... Listen, I keep to myself on that hell site. Y'all know. Fair enough. Oh, my turn. Um, well. Well, I'm not answering the dating app question because fuck that. Surprised that even exists. Um, yes, I've heard of Bluey. My nephew is obsessed with that show. It's got all the figurines and everything. It's one one minute it was Paw Patrol, now it's Bluey. Good lord. Question for all three of you. Pineapple and pizza is the Velma series as bad as everyone says, and do you think the American dream is a load of bull the American dream is a load of bullshit? I mean, the American dream it it it, it, it exists. Do I think it's bullshit to some extent? Yes. Um, because fuck trying to achieve all that. Um, especially now in 2023. Velma I don't think it's as bad as people say it is, especially those folks who immediately react to the trailer or just out of context clips. If you've seen now, anyone who's seen the show 
from that point on, fine. And it's fine if you judge it based on the clips and whatnot. I'm not saying you can't, but like, I really don't think it's as bad as we say it is. I just personally, I'd have to tune in to see it myself, but. I, I, there's this thing called self-care, and I'm easily influenced, so I'm good. Uh, I don't care. This debate is so tiresome. If you like pineapple on pizza, fine. If you don't, fine. Why is that such a big fucking deal? We put so many other things on pizza, and that's the thing you're worried about? Okay. Uh, for me, I don't care about the pineapple and pizza. It's whatever at the end of the day. Do I think it's as bad as everyone says for Velma? Not really. It's mediocre at best. And do I think the American Dream is a load of BS? Of course I'd say this as, an, as a Canadian. So yes. <laughs> totally valid. Um, I can't say much about the other two, although I will say the pineapple and pizza thing. I mean, to each their own. If you like it, you like it. If you don't, then don't then you don't. Granted, yeah, I know the pineapple and pizza thing because one of the Hall members, Otterdon, uh, likes it. And he's one of the JP stars, so... Um, I don't have any opinion on it, honestly. I mean, if you like it, you like it. If you don't, you don't. Okay. Justice 90 asks, Favorite duel from Yu-Gi-Oh! GX Original Duel Monsters and 5Ds. Which Pokemon would you like to see at original form? And have you seen Simple Gear? This for everyone? Oh. <laughs> uh, I guess I'll go first. Favorite duel from Yu Gi Oh! Duel GX. Oh, thank God. He picked series that I actually. He picks the ones that I've actually watched. Um, favorite duel from the original? Uh, whew. Um, it's a tie between. Uh, I, even though I hated the outcome, I love Joey's, uh, duel with Merrick. Mwah! 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 Hated the outcome, but everything else about the duel. Mwah! Beautiful. Um, from GX? Mm, I don't really have a favorite from GX. That series just kind of existed. It's not the worst. Um, 5Ds. Don't have a specific favorite one. Um... But it's just nice that 5D these was brought up. I do love that series. Uh, Pokemon I'd like to see get original form. Crobat and Yanmega. Please and thank you. Game Freak. Please. Um, have any of you seen Simple Gear? I don't even know what the fuck Simple Gear is. Okay. Uh, for me, it's... I only really have one, and it's for Duel Monsters, because I haven't seen much of uh, 5Ds, and I barely remember GX. Uh, so, Duel Monsters, Yugi vs. Joey, Duelist Kingdom. As for the second question, honestly, just, I guess maybe a Garchomp, just because the beta design of it was interesting. Plus, hey, maybe maybe a funny way to go about it is instead of it being a uh, destructive shark, it's just a peace-loving shark or like something like Dragonite. That'd be funny. Oh my god. Oh my god, that would be so adorable. Uh, as for Symphogear, no, I haven't seen it, but I've heard good things about it. Uh, so, I, I have seen Yu-Gi-Oh! GX, but a little bit, but... I, there's not really any duels I can remember. Although I think there was one duel that kind of stuck out to me where I think so one of the boys was asking, was going to be, was trying to ask out one of the girls. That's one duel I do remember. Um, I can't remember who it was though and who, and who the girl was. That's just one duel that sticks out to me, honestly. Um, Pokemon I want to see get a regional form. Giddy line, please. I need oh, something man. with Del Caddy, please. So, My Del Caddy so has not gotten any love since who knows how long. Please give her some love. You would think, because they gave me out two different regional forms, that they would go for another cat. Exactly. You would think, because Del Caddy's an easy one. They can give Delcati different forms and different regions. Please, I need it. I need yeah. it. Game Freak, please. 
if you ignore mine, at least grant Susan her wish. Uh, get Delcaddy out of get Delcaddy out of purgatory. Good God! Please get Delcaddy back out there. I mean, at least give Skitty something. Cause Skitty's so cute. You made it cute in the anime. Give it something in the game too, please, please. And uh, as for the third question, I don't know about. Just please give tell Caddy a regional variant or or something, please. I don't care if it's like I don't know. If, I don't care if it's like like they go like the wiglet like the wiglet route on it. I just want a different form of tell Caddy. Robin Crusoe Jr. T asks for Grim. Any thoughts on Dubis? Goobus, which Nickelodeon show disappointed you the most, and do you prefer raining days or sunny days? Dubus Goobus, pretty good animator. I avoid his Twitter shit though, like the plague. Which Nickelodeon show disappointed me the most? Um, Rugrats was fucking dog shit. I don't care. Like, both that and All Grown Up sucked, I think. And I prefer sunny days, because rainy just makes me depressed. For Susan, have you seen which cartoon? The which cartoon, I mean. And favorite anime boys? Oh, the anime boys one. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> uh, well, which cartoon I've not seen, but anime boys. Ooh, I've got a lot. I have got a lot. Um, well, I got a good handful, I should say, because it's been a while since I've seen any animes. But um, but um, considering it's ironic nowadays how the most anime boys that I see nowadays are VTubers, but um. <laughs> Uh, my favorite anime boys, um, well, Japan from Italia, Tamaki from Moron, uh, Todoroki from My Hero, uh, uh, Yuki Soma from Fruits Basket, um, Yuri from Yuri on Ice, Haruka Makoto from Free, um, uh, I think that's all I got off the top of my head. Well, I guess that the one boy, there's one boy from us, uh, Sanrio Boys likes Pop on Pudding. I like him. Um, I think that's it, because nowadays the only anime boys I watch are all Hollow Stars. <laughs> okay. But, For Emerald, have you seen Full Metal Alchemist and favorite openings in anime? Okay, so. <laughs> That shit, favorite opening. Yeesh. Um. Okay, so right now, favorite opening. It's a tie between uh, Shippuden Sixth opening and uh, Fairy Tale Zero's opening. Both have great openings, but their songs in general, perfection, absolute perfection. They just, they just hit every fucking time. And an honorable mention to all of the openings that I used in uh, my show, The Emerald Chronicles, because those anime openings were also great. So great that I used them for the show. Um, and no, I've not seen Full Metal Alchemist. For both Susan and Emerald, favorite Nickelodeon cartoon, what do you think of Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid, and did you play the Mega Man games? Um, Nickelodeon cartoon? What did I see? I saw a lot of Nickelodeon cartoons, but I can't... There weren't any that were, like, my favorites, honestly. Um... Uh, and where was I... Uh, Kobayashi's Dragon Maid, uh, that's one of my favorite animes. I liked season one, I haven't seen season two yet, though. I really should get to that. And I have not played any of the Mega Man games. At least none that I think I've played. Aside from playing, maybe once playing Mega Man, I guess on Smash Bros, just for that one quest thing, but... Nah, I haven't really played any Mega Man games, so... As for me, uh, I have a three-way tie in the Nickelodeon cartoons, or the Nicktoons. 
Danny Phantom, Avatar, and Kablam. Um, I have not watched the Dragon Maid show. Really not interested in watching it. Um, and I have not played a Mega Man game. And I don't think I ever will. Not because of any reason, just I don't think I ever will. Okay. For both Susan and Grimm, favorite and least favorite Pokemon music, and most annoying thing about old mentors. Um, is old mentors like just a, th uh, a thing or just in general? Like old mentors is in like, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Like the really old guys out there that teach you shit that's yeah. sometimes, yeah. yeah. I can't really think of anything about them, honestly, because I never really encountered them, like in shows that I watch. But they release their Pokemon music. Mm, Lacer Pokemon music. Probably the Lavender Town music, because it's kind of creepy. But my favorite? Mm, <laughs> the Furret Walk music. <laughs> and, um, uh,. The, the ends, memories, flashbacks in Pokemon Black and White 2. I have memories of that music. Because uh, uh, David used to use that music sometimes for some of his uh, series. Yeah, for some of their series, like, I would use it. Yeah, for, like, the more serious moments. I say that. Okay. Uh, for me, favorite... Probably uh, Cynthia's theme or Vala's theme. Least favorite is Generation 9's Elite 4 music 1.0 specifically. Because for some reason they fucked up and only played the first four uh, beats over and over again and it got incredibly tiresome after a while. Okay, um, most annoying thing about Old Mentors, uh, the pervert gag. That shit is fucking cringe. It is tiresome and I hate it. Not even my question, and I have to completely agree. It is so tiresome. Please get rid of it. Both Emerald and Grim, which Pokemon type combo do you think is bad? And do you two plan to do a COD video together, or either a commentary or something else? Uh, well, as far as the typing is concerned, I don't have a least favorite. I just don't, I, there's, there's none I can think of, personally. As for the co-op video thing, that, 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 that shit, I don't know. Uh, David and I haven't planned anything. And I'm not being facetious, but like we haven't planned anything. I don't know. It's what, if they want to, sure. As far as collaborations are concerned, they do plan on being in my show, Roomies, as a voice actor. Um, they make their debut in episode three, which is coming out next year. Uh, that's as far as collaborations are concerned, as far as I know. So, I don't know. Are we technically... You guys are technically collabing right now, in a way? Well, aside from now. <laughs> <laughs> um, For me, uh, the one I think is bad is probably just by a rock. Because water types are super fucking common. And that's a big quad weakness, at least with Colossal, like it's Steam Engine, which is neat, but if it can if it can fucking survive long enough to use it. So, but I would say Fire Rock, just mm, not a fan. And... Colossal Col Colossal's great until until you're facing something that can get both of its weaknesses. Fucking yeah. shame. It's a very fucking shame. Cause it's a damn good tank. <laughs> yeah, and for some reason they did not give it uh, ground. I think it's ground eater or like Orthworm's ability, which is just to absorb earth attacks or ground attacks. You know, because that makes perfect fucking sense. Yet you'll give it steam engine. Anyways, that's a separate tangent. <laughs> As for the co-op thing, I mean, if that's the reason I haven't suggested anything to Emerald is just because like one, we both have a lot of shit going on on our ends, and two, just trying hard to think of anything it's just kind of what it is we're like i said we're technically collaborating well not technically actually collaborating with them being on roomies that's i mean they're they have and there are a somewhat prominent character that's going to be around so i mean that's more than enough for me at the moment i'll take it fair enough 
but yeah um overall one day in the f maybe one day in the future but for now just neither one of us really ha i don't really have anything planned just because i can't really think of anything all three have you seen the trailer for the live action avatar any thoughts on rice gum and do you think jeff kathensburg was the reason we don't have 2d animations in cinema all right i'm gonna go from bottom to top why are we bla what no the reason it, it, i don't think he's the reason i think he's part of the reason that we have certain tropes in movies now and unfortunately that's because of shrek and that's no shade on shrek shrek is that girl but like i mean certain things happen at the end of movies because shrek did what it did when it first dropped which is a shame because shrek's a fantastic movie and did its own thing and in other movies decided to do that thing too sad don't care for rice gum fuck him and even though i was avoiding it like a plague i ended up seeing the trailer on instagram by accident because the algorithm finally got me you like one you like one picture one fan art of an avatar character and suddenly the algorithm finds you yep all right as for me uh yes i have hopefully they stick the landing fuck rice gum and no i don't blame katzenberg for this uh, it's more so just oh this is a lot cheaper for us if we do 3d for some reason um so no i don't blame katzenberg coco bandicoot asks for both susan and emerald worst and best vr game and worst and best mmorpg all right i'll make this quick so susan can go um i've not played any vr games and same for the mo mmorpgs so no I um so while I do have like a standalone VR quest too, the only thing I really ever play on there is VR chat. Cause I'm not used to being in VR, so I don't have anything cool like Beat Saber or anything like that. Cause all that stuff costs money, which I'd rather spend on other things. And I don't really play my VR too often, so I would just say I use just my VR for VR chat. Really, granted, I did host an event was. One of the hosts of a meetup with my uh with the community i'm in just to watch a live stream of a concert that was fun but and uh mmorpg uh mmorpgs i haven't really played any at least don't think i have there's like nine i could think of at the top of my head so all right for all three what do you think of vr any thoughts on kid Icarus? since crash had a sister where was she in the first game and do you play did you play any of the crash bandicoot games before the announcement of the insane trilogy don't play crash so i can't answer those questions and i already answered my thoughts on vr uh i've seen two cat Icarus videos and one of them was a collaboration with scott the Waz. yeah i think he's all right no, the categories. That's for Scott. Love Scott. Uh, I think VR is an interesting concept. Different execution, though. Uh, I like Catacruz's newer content. I just need some time to pick back up again because I've missed a few uploads. Uh, where was she in the first game? Probably just doing her own shit. As for question four, yeah, I played Crash Team Racing and Crash Bash back in the day. Uh, I like VR. I mean, it's fun. I I see a lot of my stars boys play it, and I of course play it using VR chat. Cause when I first started VR chat, I didn't have VR, and I was always the one getting like head patted. So now that I have VR, I can return the head pats, which I love doing. Um, no opinion on Kickerus, and uh, and I know I don't play Crash Bandicoot, so no opinion on that either. Okay. Ellen Q, sorry if I mispronounced that, asks, For Grim, have you played Imagination and watched the show? Nope, I haven't played it, but I will add it to the backlog. Same thing with the show. For Susan, which Transformers cartoon have you watched? I have not watched Transformers. Sorry. And for Emerald, which Persona game have you played? None! Zans Prentiss asks, Well, for Grim, what was your biggest to see in one of your videos and worst episode of One Piece from the first season? Uh... Well, way too many, uh, frankly. But I guess off the top of my head, a uh, big mistake. 
Can I say we can count us? No, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> okay, um, I'll go with the one from my um, top eight worst mistakes, which is uh, that Made in Heaven had no weaknesses, because that was fucking stupid. I guess outside of that, there's way too many for me to say as an oopsie. They're all pretty big in my, my opinion. So I can't really give it an honest or full answer because there's just too many. Uh, f as for worst episode from the first season, I don't have one because I never saw the first season of One Piece. I'm manga reader for it. For Susan, favorite mod from Pokemon. And have you seen Sabrina the Teenage Witch? I have not really paid attention to any Pokemon mods, honestly, aside from fan games. Um, and I know Sabrina the Teenage Witch, but i never seen it. Okay. For Emerald's favorite Garfield episode, have you seen Space Ghost? Have you seen Flintstones? Favorite episode from the 80s TMNT series? And favorite Bojack Horseman episode? Fuck, oh, this is loaded. <clears throat> favorite Garfield episode. I do not have a favorite episode. Um, I was going to say, well, if I have a favorite comic strip, because I'm a huge Garfield fan of the comics. I have not watched any of the shows. So can't really answer that. Uh, get back to me, get back to me in May when I see the movie. Um, have I seen Space Ghost? The original cartoon? No. Coast to Coast? Fuck yes, I love that show. Um, Flintstones. I have seen Flintstones. Love Flintstones. Classic. I have not seen the '80s TMNT series, so I cannot give you the answer to that question. And favorite BoJack Horseman episode? Ooh, I actually have one. Because I have seen BoJack Horseman up until the fifth season. Ah, uh, which one was it? Oh, no, no, no. Hold on, which one was it? Uh, there's an episode. I cannot remember where exactly. I cannot remember what, what it's called or where it was. Um... I think it was season one. It was probably one. I think it was like one, either the penultimate or finale episode of the season. And okay, yeah, it was when um, it was. It was. I think it was the second to last episode where Bojack went on uh, a drug binge with uh, Sarah Lynn, and unfortunately, she died because of an overdose and he had to ask himself if he was a good person or not after all of that happened bojack is very deep and dark so um you know caution when you decide to, if you ever choose to watch it speaking of darkness for both susan and emerald and i bring up the darkness because of these questions for some of them do you think Gina Carano deserved to be fired? What do you think of Colleen's apology video? And what do you think of Family Guy's Quagmire's dad episode? Uh, I'm just gonna say I have no opinion on either of these three, so... Yeah. I have an opinion on all of these. Uh, fuck Gina Carano. That's the one who got fired from Disney, right? From the Star Wars stuff? Okay, yeah, well, fuck her. She deserved that. Um... We don't talk about Colleen's toxic gossip train bullshit. She's back anyway, as of this video, I suppose. Um, right. The Quagmire's dad episode. The trans episode. Um, I think for what it did at the time was bold for a cartoon. But the way they went about it shortly after everything happened with Brian, um, wasn't the executed the best, and I'm. Uh, that's one of the reasons I can't bother with Family Guy anymore. They they try to tackle these topics, these very hot button topics sometimes, and they never. They, they it all it's always done for the laughs, and it's always put in the worst light. It just never goes the way that it just never goes the way they want it to, or maybe it does because they're writing a comedy. I digress. It's an episode I'm very mixed on. 
I'm just glad we don't have to look at that as the only cartoon that has trans rep because we've gotten much better rep in recent years. Okay. Uh, for both Susan and Grimm, what do you think of the Smurfs and which Barbie movies have you seen? So I know the Smurfs. I kind because of, I'm actually reminded of something. When I was when McDonald's had the Smurf toys that were going around, we would go to McDonald's often, and my mom eventually wanted to collect all the Smurf all the Smurf figures. From the from the collection from the McDonald's collection, and we were actually able to get all of them, <laughs> so which is a interesting little memory I have. Um, oh shit! Yeah, like we, she even went as far as going on eBay to getting some of the figures too. <laughs> this was that was like back a cup back when we were still pretty young. So, um, and Barbie movies, I have seen some of them. I've seen Barbie as Swan Lake and Barbie as Rapunzel, and I've also seen the Twelve Dancing Princesses. And, uh, I saw a bit of Princess and the Pauper, too. So I've seen most- I've seen a good few amount of them. They were good movies, I would admit, but- Because, I mean, they were a part of my childhood, but... Yeah, I have seen some. As for me, Smurfs exist, and I have seen zero of the movies. That was more so my sister's thing when she was a kid. Both Emerald and Grimm, favorite JoJo Bizarre Adventure character and arc, and favorite Family Guy character. Hmm. That's a good question. Very good questions. Uh. Okay. Let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see. So, favorite JoJo Bizarre Adventure character and arc. <laughs> so I started JoJo, but I did not continue it. Uh, four episodes into part two. <laughs> so um, I can't give you everything on that one. So for now, um, I can't tell you my favorite arc because I've only seen like what? One and then barely the start of part two. So, you know, want want on that one. Um, favorite character? Uh, his name is eluding me, and I hate it. Um, uh, what's his face? Um, he's like the, he's the one that continues on in the, in part two. The, what, the friend that he, Speedwagon. The friend. Yeah, okay, him, sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. I liked him. I will eventually get back to JoJo, but <laughs> with how much lack, with how with how much time I've lacked in free time and focusing on my own shit, uh, <laughs> getting back to anything is going to be a trip. So eventually we'll get back there because I do want to see what happens next. And favorite Family Guy character? Uh, uh well, when I still watched it, um, Stewie was actually my favorite character. Brian was for a time. Until he turned out to be an absolute dick in later seasons. Okay. As for me, favorite is Josuke. Favorite arc is probably... Uh... Hmm. I guess the, uh... I guess it would be the arc where, uh, Joseph fights cars. Caesar and Joseph, the at the Coliseum, if that counts. That was good stuff. As for a Family Guy character, I do not have one. For all three, have you seen any of the RT Thor or R Thor videos? Have you seen Netflix's Riverdale? If so, any thoughts? Did you see Carmen San Diego? Any thoughts on the Inside Job series? And have you seen Kipo and the Age of the Wonder Beast? If so, any thoughts? Two through five literally require Netflix. I am not on Netflix no mo. Fuck Netflix. And and number one. The number one question, and I've never even heard of this person or their channel until now. For me, all of which are no. Haven't seen, haven't seen, haven't seen, have no thoughts because I haven't seen, and haven't seen. Fire the Wolf asks, Egg, translated, what are your reference ideas for your side slash main cast of what if David was an XY or where did they come from? 
Uh, so some of the characters were based off of my friends, somewhat, at least in their designs. Some of the personalities were a base idea of what they were IRL at the time. Some of them aren't. It's kind of a pick and choose. As for the ones that didn't have the personalities based off of friends, that was just stuff I pulled out of my ass, basically, just to guess. And, yeah, basically from my wheelhouse of friends or people I knew in real life or other or other friend circles, basically. So, uh, basically that. All right, final set of comments for the group it comes from mm -hmm. Ant ASD. For Grimm, most difficult puzzle from Silent Hill 2, did you see the Swan Princess movies and have you seen the Monkey Wrench series? Most difficult puzzle was the coin shit, as I mentioned in that uh, video, that one was bugged on my playthrough, so I would go with that. It was difficult because I had to do a reinstall. Uh, Swan Princess movies, no I haven't, but I've heard of it. I haven't seen the Monkey, Man Monkey Wrench series, I swear I'm not illiterate everybody. Uh, <laughs> But yeah, for Susan, have you played Tekken and have you watched any of the Betty Boop cartoons? Uh, no, I have not played Tekken and I know Betty Boop, but I have not watched it, so. For Emerald, is Feminist Frequency a joke and have you seen the Johnny Bravo cartoon? The fuck is Feminist Frequency? Anyway, um, I guess I've seen Johnny Bravo. It's one of my favorites. Uh. I'm glad they haven't. I'm I, listen. If they air it nowadays, that's great. I just hope they don't consider doing anything new with it because I don't think the show would survive in this current state. And it's probably for the best. Mm -hmm. Product of its time, basically. For both Susan and Emerald, any thoughts on Robin Williams? What do you think of Netflix's Cleopatra? Did you see the Barbie movies? And have you seen pop culture detectives? Sexual assault of men played for laughs. This is a common. This is a compilation, by the way. Okay, so I'm going to be skipping two and four on this one. Robin Williams I, was a really wonderful person. Really sad with what happened to him. He was a great actor. I love seeing his, um... Uh, there was, he had a, he had a, um... He was a guest star in Whose Line Is It Anyway. That was a, that was a good, that was a good episode. Um, and I, I did clarify, I ha asked earlier, I did see at least four of the Barbie movies, so... Yeah, I already went over that earlier. Rest in peace, Robin Williams. You'll never be forgotten. Love him. I mean, come on, the man was pure talent, pure joy. I love uh, anything that I saw him in. Top tier. Everything he did was great. Um, it's a Netflix question. Don't really care for Netflix anymore. Have I seen any of the Barbie movies? I think I saw the... Which one was it? Was there a Princess in the Popper one, or did I imagine that? No, oh, there is. I talked okay. about it earlier. I, I saw a bit of that one. Nickelodeon used to air the Barbie movies a lot. Um, That's the only Barbie movie I've seen. <laughs> I will eventually see a certain live-action one. Um feel like this fourth question was asked already. Maybe I'm just delirious from how long we've been sitting here, but I'm not answering it anyway because I i don't think that I think watching something like that is worth my time. Fair enough. For all three, are you aware of Amaranth's beer? Did you guys see Mossbag stop using fandom video? And what do you think of Animal Farms, both the book and the movie? I'll say right now, uh, no, none of this stuff. I don't drink and um, don't know who Moss Bag is. Animal Farm, I saw it once and that's all I needed to see. <laughs> I'm going to put it this way for the first one. Whoever thought it was a good idea to use vaginal yeast for the beer needs to be fucking put down immediately. What is wrong I with beg you? I beg your fucking pardon. They put what in that beer? Yeah, vaginal yeast. The fuck? They must have been drunk when making this. What the hell? Like I said, whoever thought this was a good idea needs to be put down immediately. What the fuck is wrong with you? As for Moss Bag. 
haven't I'm this first time I'm hearing of it and as for Animal Farm heard of it never seen either of them so on that terrifying note, that is the end of this session of Ask a Grim. I am putting hard limits next time we do this, assuming the you don't blacklist me now that we're done. Um, thank you both for showing up. I really do appreciate it, and sorry for taking up as much time as we did. Uh, I'm just glad I had the day off to do this, yeah. because... Yeah. I'm also glad I whatever I needed to do during the day was accomplished, because I did not anticipate it taking this long. But it's okay. I didn't have anything else to do today. <laughs> Still, though, I do appreciate you both showing up. Um, yes. Next... <laughs> so, you want to plug your socials? Oh, um, <laughs> I'm sure they'll put it, the link in the description. Just um, go follow your boy on my my YouTube channel, Animal Star Productions. That's where I post my show roomies. Um, that's and from there you'll find all my other links. It, it it's it's in plain sight you'll find it. Okay, um so as for me, you can follow me on YouTube at Susan Soccer and Snowbox. I am mostly I'm currently a uh somewhat a clip maker for Hollow Stars as well as I hope. <laughs> As well as it's also where I post my VODs from my Twitch streams. Speaking of my Twitch streams, you can follow me on Twitch at Susan Sakura Snowfox, where I do stream a variety of games, usually comfy content. And you can also follow me on Twitter at Susan Delcaddy, where you can keep up with me and my fun retweets of the Hollow Stars boys. Just be warned if you do, if you do follow there, me, I do love Hollow Stars. There, there are a lot of retweets. <laughs> Especially considering a new group of boys literally just dropped this past weekend, so... So there will be a lot of free tweets. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, so yeah, please uh, do check me out. Um, follow my YouTube, follow me, subscribe to me on YouTube, follow me on Twitter, and, and follow me on Twitch. I would really much appreciate it. Excellent. Thank you both. Uh, once again for showing up and also thank you to everyone who asked your questions so next month we'll be going back to solo um so if you have any questions please leave them in the comments below i'd love to read them because i do love to read them and hopefully next month i will be back with more Manny presents and i'll definitely be back with the holiday edition of ask a grim while everyone is celebrating with their families thank you all once again for watching and have a great day